Seven seconds. Right. Four. <laughs> right. Go. Go. Oh, oh. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello? 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 Oh, Hello? Hold on. Oh, oh! Whoa! Okay, it's it's working, it's working. Okay, hi! Hi, it's me, <laughs> Spatula. I mean, look at, look at this, I'm at this beautiful white dwarf with my Technicolor. That is not a planet, that is a bobblehead. We are uh, <laughs> live in space again today, and oh, the shadows are really flickering. I got this, like, um, I've been playing around with the settings on my, uh, what do you call it? Ray Mobula needs a beer. Kiddo got the new laptop that's one million percent faster than my machine. Oh, wow. Well, what's it? What's it? Why is it on the run? What are you steal? Yeah, I'll, 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 this, this is so much faster than my computer. Watch it. Watch how fast it goes out the window. <laughs> uh, anyway, how's it going? Loot, Valor, and Ray Bobula, Dark Heavy. We got everyone here. What's up, gang? Um, yeah, so friggin'. Um, if you were here last week, we did a little, um, shall we say, passenger mission or whatever. And from that, I can't tell. I don't want to spoil it. Because it's epic. Um, there is a mystery that I've worked on for the Elite Dangerous website. The creators have already seen the preview and they're loving it. Um, Takosa, you do some voices in it, and there is some. I will say that, like, I can spoil this and say, like, there's some Radio Seven themed content uh, throughout of it. I'm very happy with it. It's it just finished it, and I have to I have to do like a trailer for it. So like, um, that will be actually. Let me just take a shot for it right now. Yeah, yeah. This is we're doing a trailer right now. You don't even know, but you're in the you're in the trailer. Um, <laughs> I don't know, um, but yeah, like friggin' um, so that will because the way that works is like um, you build it in their in their sort of back end, which they've got a really cool back end. So all of you folks out there, if you're curious or interested, in, if you've been enjoying the Elite Dangerous, um, it was it sounds so funny to say Elite Dangerous instead of Dangus. Um, but if you've been enjoying like the, the 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 kind of stuff that they're putting out there in terms of like um, these mysteries, you can now create your own, and that's super freaking cool because like you can go and build it from scratch. Um, and so I've basically built it. The only thing I have left to do is essentially the trailer, um, and then I'm gonna submit it. And then what they do is like a validation because what's important to them is like translation into other languages. So like I, I still have to do that, like export it and put it into the translator thing and. Re -ex export the translations or whatever so the Italians can read it you know um, I should do I should you know it's funny because I, I I wrote I found um, when I was like in the middle of writing this I actually found an entire script that I wrote for the character of Roberto really yeah there's an entire story of him <laughs> going to his, that Italian so like so, so basically like like when machine was making videos or whatever mm. he was like oh you should oh, write yeah, something yeah. for Roberto and I'm like, yeah, that's a, okay, let me come up with something. So I wrote an entire script, and I think I, I probably sent it to him, and he probably looked at it and went, that's going to take me three years to create. Because yeah, yeah. these animations take, take a while. The stuff that him and Scorb and, and Turgeon uh, do are just, you know, it's, it's next level insanity, right? But I, like, yeah, yeah. I think the story is really, really good. And maybe I could turn that into an Elite Dangerous mystery. Although I think like the mysteries are supposed to be like you you are the commander versus like this story is like like the ba the basic premise and it was actually like I wanted to make it you know like all all my dangus shit is like stupid wild um, you know like too, too much too many onion heads uh, uh, plot lines where Braben is destroying the universe so in order to defeat him I've got to kill a lot of people I don't know like they're just stupid right and yeah. I, wanted, I wanted to give this one a little bit of, of, of weight a little bit of gravitas. And so, like, I had an interesting storyline where, because Roberto's the ship launch pilot for Machine, and the big joke there is he just sits around and takes all the money, gets paid for sitting in his cockpit, you know, it is uh, in his little crew quarters, literally 90% of the time, and then, it, you know, when, when there's a battle, okay, we launched the ship launch fighter, right? Yeah. And Machine is in for repairs, and Roberto gets a letter from the, his home system in the, in the Pastare system, which is a real system. Hold on, let me, let me prove it to you. I literally just like go into the galaxy map and type in pasta. Pasta. <laughs> the Pastara, Pastara system. So apparently yeah, it's an empire system. High security, agriculture, and refinery. Actually, I've got a lot of stars there. Pretty hmm. interesting place to visit. I've actually never visited there. But anyway, point being is he's from the, the Pastara system. And, um, well, that's really close to Dengu. Dengu, right. the place that we wanted to get there. We wanted to get him, yeah. 
I mean, I'm, I'm glad you? we found Bolognas because Bolognas is awesome. I really like the, the home yeah. base in Bolognas. Um, but yeah, so basically, like, he gets a letter saying that his father has passed, uh, passed away. <laughs> right? So he has to go home, basically, and then you find out that, like, Roberto's kind of been... Like, he, he joined the, the Pilots Federation instead of continuing the family tradition of running the pasta shop on the station concourse in the food court. And basically, like, so he kind of got, like, outcast by his family and, you know, never talked to them right. again sort of thing. So he has to kind of go back to the old, you know, the place where he grew up and sort of face his family um, and deal with this sort of, like, tragic circumstance. And he gets there... And like the food court's gone and there's tumbleweeds through it and like it's like oh like this this you know like new faction expanded into the system and kind of took over and now we have to eat food cartridges from them and no one goes against them right and so right. so roberto then basically decides like i'm gonna bring pasta back to pastara and like reopen the pasta <laughs> pasta shop and you know kind of mend things with his family and sort of and then you know there's like the reading of the will and he finds out how his father really felt about him like it's got some heartwarming moments in it like i Sounds reread like, it and i'm like i think this is actually not yeah. a not a bad script it's not bad um it's like a little christmas movie to I mean go home and yeah, sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. It, it is it's like cool, a man. it's like kind of like a hallmark movie it's basically what I, was yeah, talking yeah. About. I wanted to give it's it like, cool, like right? i want to do something different than the normal special content so i wrote this script kind of like with little, yeah, cause like yeah. you know again like machine would do comedy but there was always a little bit of um like i think mm. him and and, and 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 like turgeon and ascorbius tend to handle the more serious stuff well i don't know if i yeah, would yeah. be able to do it but <laughs> 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 but but there, uh, again there's there's stupid shit in it like there's a mario and luigi the italian stereotype and all you know a bunch of pasta jokes and all that stuff but um yeah, yeah. like the core of it was i think a pretty good story so maybe i don't know maybe i'll, I'll try to rewrite that as a as a mystery though i'm like i'd have to like reframe it so that you're not roberto but kind of like maybe roberto maybe roberto hires a ship launch fighter yeah or, may or maybe maybe he uh hires you as a charter mm. i could do it that way i could do it that way but that'd be cool yeah 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 it's interesting will it involve stapled peacock meat <laughs> it's what? not pastrami it's stapled peacock meat okay now, now it will <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I forgot about Staples. That's uh, that, isn't that Ghost Raft's um, uh, Ghost Raft's like home system for their faction is in Stapled Peacock Meat, or this. Or, like, that's like an actual like tourism base. That's the name of a tourism base. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, if you, you yeah. come here again, you type all sorts of weird shit. Stapled, Stapled Peacock yeah. Flesh in Kala Kalahuhan, Kalahuakan. Yeah, where is it? Here? So where are you flying there? It's pretty bright there, man. So. Yeah, well, part of that is the Technicolor. I, this is this stream is now in Technicolor. Oh, yeah. Way. Ah, see. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of... It, it saturates things a little bit, but it also adds, like... I put, a, like, a bloom effect on the lights. It makes the white yeah, dwarfs yeah. really pop, which I kind of, like, I really enjoy. Um, I do. I, I kind of think, well, that's what it would be like. They're, they're, they're stars, isn't it? I mean, they, they're quite dim sometimes. I always turn my saturation... Not saturation, the... Uh, Aperture up so things get brighter because I just love it. I, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, 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 you know, like a staring directly at a sun should kind of hurt your eyes a little <laughs> yeah. bit, right? I love North America to tell you, it's not very good to do. And yeah. I saw some graph of people with bad eyesight after the uh, path of the, the, um, what's it called? So the eclipse. Yeah. So, so okay. So it has always <laughs> been my dream. Uh, so like this is the oh, max. Yeah. I don't know if I talked about this last time, but it's like so back in elementary school or some nonsense like back when uh i was a child one of my earliest memories was there was a solar eclipse and it was the last time we had a like a full totality kind of oh man okay this this really blooms when you get into it eh? oh yeah it's crazy man. Just, just just go into the flow it's all good also i haven't tested the um i've not tested the new super cruise boost oh man yeah you have a go that it's looks fun. like it could be fun and actually that could be useful yeah. for today so I'll have to probably head back to Bologna's first, and then go get a um, go get yeah, so a high, ship equipped. Need a high tech high tech place to get it from, I think. Oh, That's Bologna's is not Bologna's is not not like really that. Like low tech, I think. Although I, I was like going through, and I found a system that had them, and it wasn't high tech. So I, I think maybe high tech oh, is like okay. the likely place, but I don't know. We'll check yeah, yeah. Tiedman and see if T Tiedman has stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where was it where the hell was it going with this okay so yeah i'm a kid there's a solar <laughs> eclipse they're like okay we all want to watch the eclipse and i'm getting super stoked right and yeah. uh, this is like you know i'm like i'm like this is a grade four or something 
And so, basically, they're like, yeah, um, uh, you can't look at the sun because you'll go blind. So we're all going to go in the library and watch it on TV. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, no. what? Like, the sun's right yeah, outside. Yeah. And they're like, no, no, no. You, you, you go blind, kid. You can't look at the sun during an eclipse. What are you, insane? <laughs> and I'm like, but I want it. And then, basically, right before the eclipse happened, um, I basically said, fuck you, and darted out and literally made a break for outside. And I get outside, and the teacher is like, basically, I remember they, they ran to like the front of the doorstep, but they, they, were, they wouldn't take a step out of the school, because I think they were afraid of like even just being under the sun during an eclipse, like it would burn your flesh or something, right? And what? so that kind yeah. of freaked me out, so like a coward, I hid under a bush, and during the whole solar eclipse, I never looked up, because I was they, they had just drilled into my brain that I would go blind. In like a second, Tell right? You. And so, a good point there. so, so this is like like an early childhood memory of just regret and remorse, where I'm like, I should have just looked at that damn sun, right? Like I, yeah, yeah. you know, like I yeah, should I should have damn well done it. So, flash forward thirty some odd years later, and finally, uh, another solar eclipse has come, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make this right. I'm gonna stare at the sun with my own two damn eyes. I will look in that eclipse, and I will not go blind. And I did it. I. Um, now, thankfully, like, it was uh, partly cloudy, so, like, yeah, I didn't get to see, like, it. totality with the naked eye, which apparently is fine. You apparently can look at it, just not when it's, yeah. um, not total. Um, so the totality part was, um, kind of, like, overcast, but I was okay with that because it just looked beautiful. And it kind of, like, rather than me staring at the sun, I got to experience the ambiance, like, the whole picture, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. But then there were breaks in the clouds when it was, like, you know, like, just slightly off of totality and I was able to take the glasses off and look at it and the clouds gave just enough like just enough um, uh, what do you call it um, chutzpah um, just enough visibility or whatever right yeah yeah oh shit where's the dango bus please tell me it's here okay thank god it's here sometimes you just don't know where you parked <laughs> it's like yeah. oh no it's in the plane he's why <laughs> so yes I got to look at the sun with my naked eyes and fulfill a childhood dream and it was honestly, it was amazing. It was incredible. Um, if you get a chance to see a solar eclipse, which, by the way, the next one with full totality is going to happen in 2026. And it will be starting in Greenland. It will go through Iceland, right over the capital city of Reykjavik. So I'm actually debating. on right. like, Because Iceland is yeah. cool. I've been there twice, and I'd go again. Um, it'll, and it'll happen, and that's where you get the midnight sun. Um, right. It's in the summer. It's August of 2026. Uh, it will come down, I think, through Ireland. I think it kind of skips the UK and then ends up in Spain. Um, but, um, yeah, I was like, uh, it's kind of... It, it, like it's round, yeah. You can see it between, like, Barcelona and Valencia. And I've always wanted to go to Spain, too, so I'm kind of like, hmm. Yeah, man. Spain would be much cheaper than Iceland. <laughs> well, Iceland is not uh, expensive to go to, but it's expensive once you're there. But it's like, if I, like you know, land on the day of the eclipse and then just spend one night there. Yeah, like yeah. That, that, that could still be cheap, but at the same token, uh, uh, I've already been there a couple times. Um, I mean, definitely, like, I'm, I'm super interested in, like, planning a trip now to chase eclipses because it was an yeah, honest... It was just an awe-inspiring moment. It was just, like, one of those, like, once-in-a-lifetime wonders, right? Like, if you get the chance, like, you gotta, you gotta check it out. You go to Spain for a good yeah. surf? I hear like the waves yeah. in like there's like what, what it might be in uh, Portugal, but there's like one peninsula where it's like the craziest fucking waves in the entire world. Yeah, yeah. Outside yeah. of like I think I wouldn't place in Australia or whatever. I don't surf. Um, I would probably uh, turf. Uh, <laughs> I'm more turf than surf. Not much of, bars, much of a yeah. I'm not much of a water creature. No, I'm not. I get too much fear of, of sharks from watching. Jaws about age of six. That didn't do me good. <laughs> Friggin', um, there was one thing I saw, and it was like in the Mediterranean or something, and like a tiger shark like ate a boy, and it was like, I'm like, why do you watch these things? I just feel terrible. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why are you like, doing this stuff? Uh, I guess to t test uh, test my metal. The things yeah. I've seen on the internet, I swear, I can't even talk about some of them. They're just just life scarring. But you know, I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. I'm a perfectly well-adjusted adult human being. No damage done. 
<laughs> they say the same thing about masturbation a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the staring at the sun make it blind. <laughs> Love the peacock meat, not so big on the staples. Yeah. Well, if the staples keep it all together, right? What do you want them to use? Glue? Then it's inedible. The staples you can pick out of your teeth. Um, Nazare, that wave might be too beefy for what I'd do. I'd have to do a special bodyboard with fins made. I mean, yeah, it's like I've seen like videos of like kids too, where it's like like, like the tide rises in like little um, uh, little coves or whatever, and I've just seen like them jump in willy nilly, and I'm like, oh my, oh my lord, like how do you people um, do this? And, oh, hold on, okay, that's the landing. Okay, there we go. Oh, landing gear, landing gear. That's what I need. Right, right, right. Okay, hold on. Let me just Nazar is the name of your PC. Oh, nice. But yeah, so the um, Elite Dangerous um, mystery, it's going to be called, uh, what is it, The Fingerprints of the Black Prince. And I can't tell you when it's going to come out, but uh, I will be submitting it like, well, i got to do a trailer for it, and I want to like do the trailer before I submit it, so I might not do it until tomorrow. Like, I'm not going to come up with a big fancy trailer, just simple, uh, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but it'll be fine. Um... <laughs> But yeah, like like um, I'm pretty stoked for it. I want everyone to try it because I think it's a fun experience. And then yeah. uh, and then what I want to do today is like I had so much fun writing this. Like it was just like like I was telling Takosa before the stream. I'm like it's kind of like writing a Dangus episode, but for other people to do. Yeah. Which I think is super fun because then I get to think about how I'm guiding someone down a weird story, and you know they have to use their brain and um, pay attention and do things. Mm. And, and you know yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun so I'm like I kind of just already want to start working on the next one like why not right yeah 2. yeah 2.4 billion dollars sitting in the bank and I'm under a billion I need to really think about why do I have shock mines oh right um, that's top secret pay no attention to the shock mines <laughs> that's um, one no it's fine you're used to the wedge pipeline Pipeline. The, uh, there were aggressive tiger sharks on Hanlai Bay while we were in Kauai, so they closed those beaches. Yeah, like tiger Ooh. sharks are crazy. They're the, like, I don't worry so much about great whites. I worry about tiger sharks because those things will eat anything. Like they, they've been found <laughs> with like tires in their belly, license plates. Like they're just like they'll like their way of um, form. They're like well, we we explore by scanning things. They explore by eating the things. Um, yeah, <laughs> and they are super aggressive. Stinson Beach here in uh, was close due to white shark suckers. Well, I mean, let me put it this way. I wouldn't want to mess with any sharks. Yeah, like, I'm fine with, like, hills and forests. That's fine with me. And I live in England, so there's nothing as scary as big than a fox. I mean, right. we've killed everything that could be dangerous in this country. <laughs> <laughs> we've got no spiders or anything. We're terrible. We're just like, no, that's fine. We'll go abroad and then we'll kill them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just found, like, near, near 130 lights years away there's a, a crash type 9 called Ariana's Ariana's Pride Ooh. and it has a few sort of things it's just a crash ship and it just has like oh you know I lost hope this sort of thing but it's like it could be an end for something I mean Interesting. And there are some there are some um, beacons that lead to it sort of thing so I'm thinking okay if, I might put yeah. the super cruise drive on my phantom yeah I think that would be a fun one to do um I don't know what it does to your jump distance, though. What I would do is put an extra fuel tank on your ship, because it uh, eats fuel pretty quick. Okay. There's going to be a lot of okay. um, fuel ratting going on soon. <laughs> right. Which, honestly, it's good for business. It's good for biz good for the fuel yeah, rats. Totally. It's good. They're liking it. So maybe, okay, maybe, okay, hold on. Do I need two planetary vehicle hangers? Probably not. So yes, extra fuel would be good. Oh wait, do I have this on my carrier? No, no, I don't. Because yeah. why would I have extra fuel, right? You've yeah, never, no, you'd never. No, you just get totally. a fuel scoop, and then it's unlimited. All you can eat buffet fuel. Okay. Um, or maybe what I should do is just store my FSD here. It'll give me like the default FSD, so I can just get over to the station. What is this? A five A with increased FSD range and mass manager. Typical. Okay. Typical. <laughs> well, I was thinking about that, and I'm like, are they like, is is it kind of like, um, are they going to uh, uh, like release further editions of that of that uh, new thingy? Like, is it going to be like, 
like it has to be the C size or, or are we going to be able to engine like maybe like as an experimental engineer like put that on an A rated um, and we'll lose mass manager but like it's still more or like is it always going to be like the C size like I wonder or are they going to come out with like a B and an A and that kind of kind of thing right yeah I don't know really because it feels like if it's to do with power play so they'll make it easier for people to, to be uh, you know if you're a transporter you've got a way of avoiding that have really good zipping ships and it's, it's that kind of setup and for CGs as well maybe so it's like if, you've, if someone's going off you could just boost away from them really which is quite cool I'm pretty sure so like this okay there, here's my impression of Frontier yeah. Development if it was an ice cream color okay so <laughs> the ice cream developer comes I'm in uh, and, and they say um, hey I got this this new flavor it's called tiger tail it's orange and black it's gonna taste great people are gonna love it you know, mm, it tastes really good but I don't know maybe it tastes too good why don't we put some salt on it mm, okay that, that, that's kind of that's kind of terrible okay well well let's put how about this we'll cover it in cone and make it difficult to eat like people have to spend hours chipping away at the cone we'll make the cone out of titanium alloy and then um, yeah and then we'll 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 charge fifteen dollars for it okay yeah, balanced yeah. boom psh. It's like anytime they come up with something good, they have to balance it so that it's never that good. <laughs> That's what yeah, I'm kind yeah. of like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like everything I'm seeing about this new FSD is like, wow, this is amazing. This is really fun. This is awesome. But it, it, it heats you up and I think it takes a lot of fuel, is that what I heard? And then your jump range goes down. So it's kind of like, okay. Yeah. You don't see any five fives here either. Oh. Uh oh. Threes. So hold on, is there a nearby then? Then now that I've got an E-rated FSD, is there a nearby? What's our near, what's our nearby high tech system? I don't even know my local uh, geography. Here's... Let's see here. Where's right. the filters here? Yeah. Uh, Pilots Federation. We want only high tech. Show me the high techs. Oh, Rempatani. Hey. But it's really small. So I don't think they have a big enough station to have anything. That's all. Because the pot place is quite alone. Rim, do they have outfitting even? They do. They do have outfitting in Heinze. It might be worth looking because they have them. outfitting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You get your own your 5e. <laughs> okay. Licorice, menthol, and cocaine. Okay. <laughs> that actually sounds like a kind of ice cream flavor that I'd be curious about. <laughs> <laughs> the corrupt a wish drive. <laughs> what? Yeah. This explains why Hugh, Jump Hugh Grant is still alive. He's mostly harmless. What? Three. Is Hugh Grant <laughs> a shark? One. Terrible for jump ranges. No, en no engineering. Wait, what? No, no engineering? No. Ooh. Uh, if you're doing like, m missions, you have to whiz stuff around. They're amazing. You can just, go, just, just get places really quick. It speeds the game up. Like, so. Oh, Valor says he bought his, his five in Teddy Minute. It just wasn't in order. Well, mm. I am already in Rampantani. Rinpantani. Rinpantani, which is, I think, Dingus, Dingus, we are in here. This is, uh, yes, we own yeah, this. We yeah, are. this is our, our, um, our summer home. Yeah. <laughs> when it gets too cold and below days, we just, we just go here. Yeah. What is in this system? But yeah, the kind of, the point of these streams is also to explore, like, the, the local area, because, like, like the the mystery that I, I already wrote that's going to be launched, it's it, it starts in below days, right? And I kind of want them all to sort of have something to do with Bolognese or Dingus. Like, Dingus Investigations will always be the employer. Like, whether you have to start there, mm. the missions are going to come from Bolognese, right? Like, Morris and and um, Spatula and some other characters. Some mm. nefarious radio disc jockeys. You may have heard <laughs> of them. You can't see one there. Well, maybe Valor bought the last one. Maybe uh, they do change, don't they? That's the thing. It's limited stock while supplies last. Side effects may include going really fast. <laughs> now, I did see a little video. Like, I mean, like, you know, it's like one of those things where, like, eh, should I wait and just test it myself out, or do I watch a little video? And I watched a video of it, and it looks fun. It looks really yeah. fun. But definitely, yeah, I could I could see where you're talking about with the um, bring extra fuel. It's It ain't going to Hutton Orbital. I think oh, the, the oh, video, totally. I think it was, like, the Burr Pit or, or Galnet News Digest. I can't remember which one, but they're, like... Yeah, like, they did a test, and they're like, about, like, you get 0 0.01 light years closer before you run out of fuel. So it's, yeah. it's, I think um, everyone's like, oh, we're going to go to the, the, the sea star, and it's like, no, it just means you can do the normal missions really, you can play the game really fast now, so. 
which is, which is probably a, a complaint people always have, isn't it? But, but, but you still can't get to the sea star very. But it like, speeds you up quite like, a bit, congrats but, yeah. for, like for Frontier listening to a long, long complaint yeah. about how Super Cruise takes forever, Hyper Cruise takes forever, and actually implementing something. But then, of course, making well, uh, it in a way yeah. that's like really like has as many downsides as positives. So here's here's hoping that maybe uh, there'll be another CG for Titan Drive components, and they'll be like, okay, yeah. you can engineer it now, and we've upped the jump range, and um, uh, everyone gets a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. Right, I, I, shall, I might see if I can find a ship with interdict and see if I can come and interdict you and see if you can escape in your ship. Oh, true, yeah, that would be an interesting yeah. test, right? Because, like, cause like, really, like... If you're going that fast, unless the interdictor also has a super cruise booster, yeah, quite funny to put it on a, on a, a, a third line and see what happens. To it. Gear, <laughs> okay, yeah, putting it on a fertile lance, you'd have a jump range of one. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> can't leave the system on this. You gotta get forever. the whole friggin' um, you gotta get the tow truck to bring you to the system. <laughs> yeah, which I mean, that's what fleet carriers are for these days, right? But. Yeah, you got it. You, yeah. you used to get to the B star at Harang, which is about 200k uh, light seconds. They really use a lot of fuel. You have to stop boosting. Right. Yeah. I can't wait to try this. Okay. So okay, let's go to outfitting. Completely useless for long distance exploration. Too much of a trade off. Like my assumption is like it's more for like the inter. Right now it's more for like the inter bubble. You know, oh I landed in the system. Let me just get there in seven seconds as opposed to like two. Um. D Again, you know, two minutes or if you're doing BGS stuff, you often have to go and sh scan a mega ship and all those sort of things. It means you exactly. can do those missions so fast now, I think. Yeah. So, um, I suppose if, if you're waiting to, like, if they're going to do Power Play 2.0, it's going to include, you know, I don't know, it's going to be the same old stuff. And um, they don't have it here. Really? No. Nah. Fantani. Yeah, I went, okay. like, I went somewhere. I went to, there, there was one that's about 2 million and it's high tech. It's got a sister. It's got actually a uh, thing. All, it's got a, a, you know, a, a base. Okay, let's see. What else is in... Okay, there's Karamutai. That's still very low pop. Oh my god, this stream is going to be like, let's try and get to a friggin' yeah, I'm not, actual yeah. system. How about this one? Ross? Nope. G G Genora? Genora's got 4.1 4. 4. 4. 4. 1 million. Let me put a DJI pop filter on this. N. By the way, you can yeah. you can do pop filters. It's crazy. It's cool. Yeah, they're good. Uh, Did you know her? DJ I N. Hold on. Sorry. I'm yeah. trying to. Where's the Genora? It's up a bit. <laughs> Just put DJ I N. DJ I N in the, in the thing. You should find it. Did Genora? Yeah. That's okay, it's got four million, so it's shut. And Has I can got... get there in three jumps. Okay. And it's got a Murphy terminal. It's got, so yeah, you should be able to get. Stuff. What was I set my population range to? My God. Okay. So I was looking for all these <laughs> systems that were like extremely large. <laughs> oh my God! What is this? There's like one bar of difference between like twenty six thousand and four million. Yeah, no, yeah. There's quite a crazy range on that thing. It's a bit of a that's a bit of a weird filter. Okay, Digenera, we'll try it. If someone can get there in advance and uh... oh yeah it's got a big station murphy terminal yeah and there's a fleet carrier there which implies that you know someone cares yeah how many jumps three jumps i can do this i can do it um <laughs> vola figa is a high tech with 5.2 million maybe the new python can deal with this drive better maybe less jitter i kind of want the jitter though yeah i like the jitter the jitter I makes do. me feel <laughs> alive <laughs> <laughs> I wish they'd do more, like make the visions, like even more jittery. Like, I wish the genic. Like this is okay. So like I've talked about this before. Where I'm like the way I think that jumping should work is that like, like you should have insanely high max jump ranges. Like in a fleet, in a fleet carrier, you should be able to, in theory, target Beagle Point, and it'll be like okay, it's gonna take three days to spool up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But in three days, your carrier will jump to Beagle Point. And there is a, because it's so long of a distance, um, it's going to be like a 50-50 chance that you don't actually end up in Beagle Point. And then, like, there's a 10% catastrophic failure rate where, like, you know, uh, uh, basically, like, like every every 1,000 light years, you get another 1% in your catastrophic failure rate. And that could land you, like, 
on the like on the edge of the galaxy in the other direction kind of thing like i think that that the way that jumping short and then in an individual ship obviously like not being able to target beagle point but let's say like you know the a-rated one has a max jump distance of 1000 um so yeah. you could it, yeah, yeah. conceivably jump to the california nebula in one jump but the same catastrophic filter kind of works its way up right so it's like maybe you had a filter in where it's like i don't i want to keep my catastrophic chance at zero and i'm willing to accept um up to a 20 percent deviation yeah, in, yeah. In like in like a minor failure right and a minor failure might be like oh yeah i landed up 500 light years up from my target but i jumped you know a thousand or whatever right i reckon there should be a chance of you like leaving part of your soul and a couple of your teeth behind as well it's just, oh yeah <laughs> yeah my explorers look really different like why have you got one eye oh, but I then but, in live but like yeah. but like visually like when you're doing those jumps it should be like super shaky right like you're in hyperspace yeah, and the yeah, ship, yeah. the ship's turning around and like you know, just yeah, like yeah and you bit, bits of ship up. coming off and stuff yeah that'd be amazing i would love that i mean <laughs> they'll probably never happen but um yeah i you know this this the whole super cruise boosting i i think this is a, a nice step again it, it what it shows me is that while frontier is still internally conflicted about actually wanting people to enjoy the game, uh, yeah. Yeah. They, they, they're leaning towards it. They're kind of yeah, leaning towards it. Yeah, like yeah. they're not. They're not completely. Um, uh, uh, they're not completely um, uh, tone deaf. No, they they were they were a lot nastier at the start, weren't they? You know, when when engineering came out, you couldn't find any materials and you needed about six million of everything, and it was random what yeah. you get get done. So it was it was pretty insane. Something. The only constant benefit I see from map farming, you get a POI 50k light seconds away after a nav beacon scan, a quick drag race down the road, scoop up your goods, come back to the sun for a refill your scan. That's actually not bad. That's not bad. Because, yeah, like, I remember, yeah. like, with map farming or whatever, you have to find those, like, oh, yeah. the high risk yeah. ones where you get the great yeah, vibes. They're miles out, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's like, yeah, 50,000 light seconds out, and it's like, yeah, oh, God. Cool. By, the, by the time yeah. you get there, the signal source is like, the timer is ticking down. Like, I've gotten all the way out there. And I'm like, yeah, almost at that left. jump. Like, yeah. 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 And I'm stuck at seven seconds. Gaming. Like, yeah. <laughs> which, like, you know, I get it. You know, it's not it's, fun. It's space. It's not. It's not there to please me. You know. Yeah. It's there to be dangus, and I must survive. Um, yeah. But at the same token, you know, it's a game. It'd be fun. Well, that's exactly. what I think. You're, I think you enjoy this booster. It should be fun, though. That's I'm all like, I'm looking for in this. Is fun. It's just pure, unadulterated um, funness. What is my jump range now? Or even like a Type Six. Is that small for Type Six? Yeah. I feel like That'd a Type. I feel like an Eagle. It would be like like it, you put one like you run out of fuel in a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> this is a tiny tank. It's a tiny tank. A Type Six yeah. would be great. Like a tip six, like I was thinking about that, and I'm like, yeah, like a type seven with this thing yeah. could be like great for the trade CGs, Ooh. avoiding interdictions. Mm. Yeah, we could always have a go at a trade CT then in our in our uh, sort of hot rod type sevens. That's quite fun. Okay, coming in at Murphy, Murphy Terminal. I've actually got an insector on my ship, so I'm going to go and get one. I'm sure oh yeah. I've got one, one. And so I went through all my screenshots. Um, I have something oh, yeah. like 1,400 screenshots. I was like, oh <laughs> my lord. Um, yeah. And a lot of them are stupid shit where it's like, uh, oh, did that take? Let me take uh, 20 more of these. <laughs> yeah. But some of them were quite good. Um, uh, some of them I was like, oh wow, they bring back memories. Like, there were a bunch from like that. Remember we did that like graffiti hunt when they added graffi the, the oh, yeah. graffiti on the stations yeah. and just like going around posing with that. And, oh, there's a guardian site, or there's the time we were with Mars in the in the um, uh, Inspire site. Like a bunch of great yeah. great memories from it. And some of them were actually really good. Um, I narrowed it down to I think 134. So I have to wow. now go through and cut thir uh, 34 of them. Yeah. I mean. I, I guess I could do like 134 <laughs> screenshots and just yeah, up, no up the trend. Yeah. But but um, I saw I you know there's probably ones in there I can say goodbye to just for the the fun of it. <clears throat> but I was like, man, like like uh, play this game for a while and it just like there's so many cool moments in the screenshots back. It just got me thinking about just like how um, 
you don't get this from other. You just don't get this from other games. No, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Like, the memories. Like, it's got mem the memories. Yeah. Maybe too. I don't know. Man, this guy looks like. Hold on. This guy looks like such a black market dealer, too. I wish I could make him bigger. He looks like he's ready for the black market. Nice tie, though. Looks like, yeah. actually, it looks like a mushroom. Actually, sir, are you just, is that a tie or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> um, do you have a 5C SEO already fitted? No. Um, let me see here. Oh, no. Um, Valor, maybe not here for Spatula then. Well, I went to the other station, and hopefully it's here. Oh. Son of a bitch. No way. It's I'm not sure here. That's where I got, I got Wait. mine from there. Oh, there's a 2C here. Huh. What's okay. Your, what's your well, let me upgrade yourself? to a D while I'm here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So this stream has now become the hunt for the SEO. <laughs> yeah. So what? Do I need there's to find the... even bigger? Okay. There's one not. There's oh, there's a bunch here. Okay. Um. No, that's tiny. That's okay. Let me put that population filter just to back up one little notch. Okay. No. It can't go up one notch. It can only go up two notches. Um, okay, what about Kwama? 13.4 million. There's well, gotta be one yeah, there. That sounds bad. Kwama sounds extremely lucrative. Though. I'm gonna blame the BGS. I think the whatever faction here, who's it? Dragons of Nastrond? Are you guys a player faction? You have done a terrible job uh, curating your <laughs> outfitting. Not to say that Balonis doesn't have any, but you know what? We are an anarchy faction, so. We don't. Yeah, we, we curate by not curating, okay? <laughs> That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Find it. Where are we here? This is Dijinara? Dijinara? Yeah, Dijinara. Waste of space. Let's blow it up. If I ever get a Death Star, can you, <laughs> can you imagine, right? Like, okay, so Frontier allowed the Thargoids to like, shut down stations and then people could come. It was F, F, S, D. <laughs> I was like, why is there F? I haven't died yet. Yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, friggin', um... I lost my train of thought. Oh my god. Um... What are you saying about... Uh, my brain's like, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, it's talking about... Give me Death Star Frontier so I can blow up... That's right, yeah, so you can blow okay, stuff up. Because they've, like, disabled stations and set them on fire, and then people go in and repair mm. them, and then they're okay. But, like, when have we ever had a station destroyed or a system obliterated? Yeah, because it, it break the BGS. Yeah. <laughs> let's build but, it in for BGS. Let's break it. Let's break it together. It'll be epic. Come on. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, think about that, where it's like, mm. like, uh, like, I, I and, and like, okay, this might be a little controversial. I know there's a lot of people that would feel very different about, about this, but I think the system that needs to be blown up is the soul system. Yeah, I was I was really hoping the soul was a ghost straight and blew it up. That would be pretty amazing. Like, Earth blowing up, and then, like, you could still visit it, um, and it's, like, this blown up planet, and you see, like, the pieces and chunks, and there's, like, a debris field, and, like, yeah. every station you go to, it is just debris. Like, everything in Seoul blown up. How cool would yeah. that be? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? And it's like, I get it, because, like, the people who don't want that, it's like, it, you know, it's like, oh, I don't want to, like, spoil our home system. I want to visit it. I want future generations to visit it. They can still visit it. It's just going to be blown up. Yeah, yeah, be fine. <laughs> I think I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, it would be. But Frontier will never do it. I do not disagree agree with your views and opinions. These are just the opinions of the streamer. <laughs> I suppose that's yeah. Elite is, is Elite Four we're on now? Elite Five, they could make it a bit because again, the bubble is massive in this this game, isn't it? Yeah. They're saying that the array of expansion would be insane to make from now to build have a bubble this size, they'd have to build like one of those stations every two weeks for the next like five thousand years, something stupid. So yeah. Oh god. So, <laughs> so I mean like to counter that, you just give okay, so look. $10 billion plus outfitting. I can buy my own Death Star. I can blow up whatever systems I want. Um, and you can't stop me. Yeah. That's how it should roll. 
You like that in Starfield, Earth Gone. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. I was like, what? Uh, is that, did, I, did I get that far? I'm like, no, I remember actually visiting Earth and trying to land on the pyramids, and it was just like a desert planet. And then, for oh, wow. but I found out, I didn't see anything. And I found out that uh, apparently, like, what you need to do is find books. And if you read the books, Ooh. the books will reveal uh, coordinates. And then the coordinates, read you can... books. You can, yeah, so apparently you have to read books in Starfield, and then that will give you the coordinate system so that you can actually land at the pyramids and see, like, the pyramids and I think Big Ben or something like that. Um, I would like to go back to Starfield at some point. I, Ooh, I, yeah. I, feel, I feel really bad about just, like, not going back to that game because I was really enjoying it. That made I made it, like, it got a lot of shit. amazing, wouldn't it? It got a lot got of shit. Four, th three people playing it would be amazing, I think. Really cool, but they didn't. They made it, yeah, single player. So it's it's like it's that. I find it hard to play single player games for a long time. To think everything. Okay, so everything that you, that you saw me stream on Storyville is everything that I've played. I right, remember right. The, the first yeah. stream, ninety percent of it was me putting buckets on people's heads, which honestly <laughs> was my favorite part. Um, like like yeah. physics in that game are so fun. Um, and then I went to like some place. I went to Mars. I was doing some like station missions you know random side quests and then i went to that like I, w I went to start like the main proper quest and then pretty much it, it just dropped off and it wasn't sort of lack of interest it was just sort of bad timing in the sense right. of like there was a lot of shit going on in the lead i'm like i'm not gonna play starfield the fucking titans are coming I'm right yeah, and it's crazy because it was seen as like an elite killer. Wasn't it? These games are coming out, and no one's going to play. Like, oh, it's going to be crap. And then well, everyone's dri dribbling back now, aren't they? Can actually, elites it, it itches the itch, and there's stuff happening. Well, elite just like like they they pro I don't know if they did it intentionally with the hey, hey look at that look at that little dolphin there. Yeah, he's, he's baby's first landing. <laughs> he's a little you got a little too much uh, martinis there, sir. Okay, anyway, um. But yeah, it's like, oh, Starfield's going to be the elite killer. And it's like, look, um, I really enjoyed uh, what I played at Starfield. I would, I still want to go back and do more. And I'm glad yeah. that it's single player and that it's different from Elite. Because, like, if they were just trying to make, like, Bethesda version of Elite, yeah. I don't think I'd be satisfied. But, no, no. Yeah. you know, okay. Um, wasn't Earth effectively destroyed and ED and repopulated? Yes, we, we toxicified shit, probably nuclear. And then that's why yeah. we moved to Mars, but then we kind of re-terraformed it or whatever so it's okay now but we we i mean let's let's be real we we know where it's we're going fine now yeah we, we know if you're alive at this time you know we ain't we ain't we ain't go, oh, no. gonna get off this planet without ruining a little bit first no fives here either says dead star what man they just they everyone's bought them why can i sell one <laughs> i've got one this is the other thing that i complain about a lot where i'm like really what they should have is like Every module yeah. should be available. Okay, so at least I can upgrade to a 5A now. That'll make it easier yeah, to get through. Every, but every system least, should be able to sell everything. Oh, see, look, there's a 4C here, but I, it's incompatible. It's too small for my massive your whole ego. Size. <laughs> um, right, does an R do them yet or not? Because now I usually does everything, haven't they? I don't know if they put it in yet. Did I just... What are you searching for? Outfitting. Am I actually... Selling or no? Okay, yeah, I want to sell this. We don't want to run into. Oh, why do I have all these? Why do I have like a 5E in Shinrata Desra? Yeah. yeah, let me just do some inventory clearing here. Alright, so we're literally just like upgrading our FSD. I know, I've often Jameson's at this point, right? It's like, it's I know I know where e. I can get it. I need five a 5. E. Hold on, how five, far five is Jameson? Five SEO. Jameson's like right there, too, isn't it? Oh, no, way, that's all. There's one in Wodi oh, Wodi. How much is that? What? Wodi Wodi at Polanski City. Wodi Wodi? Okay, we have to go Wody there. Wodi Wodi. How do you spell Wodi <laughs> Wodi? It's W O D I W O D I. Wodi Wodi. Wodi Wodi. We're going to Wodi Wodi. Okay, Wody. just because that has a great system. Uh oh. It's at a C star. Polanski City. Okay, it's okay. Thank God. It's 500, oh. 526 yeah. light seconds. Okay. I was going to say, you need yeah. the friggin' thing to get there. <laughs> they had that. Someone bought them ten hours ago, <coughs> so that's that's as long as so. Yeah. They bought the last one ten hours ago. Uh, yeah, probably. But someone sold one. Tw or someone bought one twenty four twenty one minutes ago in six Andromeda, near where I stood. Where are you getting your intel? Where are you getting this? Uh... Uh, in Ara, you can search for modules. Oh, on the 
Well, I've, I've only been to um, Team Rock Down twice in my whole life Oops. in the game, which is bizarre. A little, Oops. little mail slot boop there? A little miscalculation? Wody. Wody. That's okay, we're on track, we're on track. Wody, 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 Wody. Oh, it's only one jump away, look at this. Wody, Wody. Wody, 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 Wody. Is this, far, is this like close enough to expand to? Can we get the uh, Degas investigation into Wody, Wody? Yeah, I might be able to. We, 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 we kept getting stuck in random, really weird. Then we expanded and we got stuck in a, like, a, a, nowhere to go to. Yeah. We, we, haven't, done, we haven't done an expansion in a while. We should do an expansion. Three, two, I mean, you do the work. You do the work. It's a hard work, man. Oh, yeah. I forgot about These that. These leaders who just stand there go, yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wody, Wody. <laughs> Don't forget, there's the top 1% of streams out there. Wody, Wody. <laughs> yeah. Wody, Wody. Yo, Dart, what do you think? Could we get to Wody Wody? It's quite a way away, but... It might, it might be. Hold yeah. on, what's the light years on... Because we're not even near Bologna's anymore. No, no, this is probably not going <laughs> to happen. <laughs> 140 or something on this, quite a way. That's fine. Uh, let's well, see. I've been here, you see we're, oh, I've been 64 here. light years, I mean, but there's a lot of shit in between. Because I think, like, the, the expansion is sort of random, right? Like, that's, that's our expansion strategy. Is yeah. If it happens, it happens. And where we end up, we end up. Yeah. And then I leave it to the intelligentsia of the, the people who actually <laughs> do the majority of the faction work, which is, like, three people. <laughs> Valor, Dark, and, and Dagoza. You guys have been... And Dead, I've seen Dead Star doing it a little bit, too. Valor's been doing loads of it. Yeah, I, have to, I haven't done it for a while. I'll have to have a go. Yeah, Can I, I mean, find that Pacific Drive for a while. I'll am I still even? It. Am I still even allied with my own faction? I don't know. I think you've been kicked out. But, this. but just like to see to like, I think it's more fun to just expand without planning, like just to kind of like go with the flow. Cause, oh, 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 interdiction. Who done this? Who done this? Okay, let me Ooh. stop. Let me stop and find out what you want. I am armed. Wait, wait, wait. Who interdicted me? To go out. <laughs> I was just testing, just seeing how people use it. Oh, 200 light years. Yeah, I got. Second away from hold on, I gotta so, yeah. do. I gotta do a test as well. Hold on. Hey. Yeah, the guns work. <laughs> <laughs> Happy psycho, eh? Oh, it's a fertilance. I thought you were in an adder for a second. <laughs> I, was like, I can take him. Fertilance? Yeah. No, run away! Run away! <laughs> run away! Be interesting to see different stats and effect interdiction invasion. Well, that's I think the coolest thing about the super cruise thing is going to be like the biggest effect will be avoiding interdictions. Um, I've gotten into some really like if you really get into it and you go to these systems where people are trying to interdict people, mm -hmm. I, I I once spent like a full five minutes just like trying to interdict a guy while he was trying to interdict me and we were like two dogs chasing each other's <laughs> tails in a circle. Yeah, yeah. And it was like it was legit like like the hardest flying I've ever done like because you're just like. Constantly trying to yeah, out turn him, out turn him, but nope, he's getting there. Okay, speed up, slow down. Uh, let's try turn in the opposite direction. Nope, and he's matching, and it's like it was a really interesting um, tete a tete. Yeah, yeah. Dead star, you dropped at about a million miles an hour. Then how'd you do that, dude? Maybe it's like a just... super cruise drive. Yeah, maybe it was. He was going real fast. I saw that too. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, hey. Well, I'll see if I can put one on this thing and see if it will break my fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what happens if you, um, can you like speed, can you use, oh, I guess you can't use it in glide mode. No, I think it's good for getting off planets, I think, though, because you can use it pretty quick. That to, that to me is actually huge, because that is the one thing where I'm like, oh my god, um. Fly near like a, um, if you've got a base near a, a gas giant, it's just in, and so annoying, isn't it? Super Cruise Assist drops when going fast. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Super Cruise Assist is actually like a hidden gem. Oh, that's right. That's not yeah. Okay. Into the mail slot we go. Gonna, uh, do a little turn there. And okay, a little adjustment boop. 18, <laughs> 18. Uh, all right, there we go. Perfect. Right in front of us. As I planned. <laughs> a little light on okay didn't see that because of the fog again it's like the bloom effects kind of like are maybe a little bit too strong but that's the way i like it yeah it's basically <coughs> a bit more exciting oh, is that in the old thing which is the what is that is it in the old 
the uh, what's it called? The other yeah, filters. What's it called? It's called blue. What what do you press on? Well, I put um. I don't know if you can. Oh, you can see it on here. So I've got HDR. Uh, I've got Cine Tools, and then Technicolor. Actually, I took off the bloom effect. There is like, hold on, there is like um, uh, but it's like you can see. Uh, you can, uh, here, I can actually show I don't you. Have loads you of the ones. So like, yeah. I could, I could make things really dark. I make them just unbearably white. All right, so I can, I can yeah, kind of yeah. adjust that. But then you also have the Technicolor, which is again same sort of sort of dealy. So it's kind of neat. You can you can put that sort of stuff there. And then uh, there was a sunset filter if you want to do like beautiful sunset. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, yeah. There's all this crazy cool stuff like um, vibrance yeah. UI masks. I don't know what vibrance is. Oh, look at that. Look how vibrant that is. Wow. Okay, that really makes the cool, colors. Cool. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll go with a little vibrance. Mm. Let's do a little vibrance. And then you can put it on performance mode and it does better, I think. You think all the size fives are sold out? No. No, 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 no. Oh, thank. Oh, wait, wait, wait okay, okay. There, there's one. There's one. SEO. That's the one we're looking for, right? Five C. Yay! Okay, we'll sell this one. We actually gained three point seven million dollars. Apparently, these things are dirt cheap as well. Lovely. And wow, the vibrance is really maybe too vibrant. I don't know. Let's just let's see what it looks like when you go into camera mode here. Uh, that is actually maybe too vibrant. Vibrant. <laughs> actually, too vibrant. Like but this is what I love about this: is just I can make the game look so neat. Look at where's vibrance. See, there's no vibrance. Yeah, I it's like amazing. it. That's cool. I like that I've got the uh, technicolor. It's great. And do like that. Like I like a little bit of saturation because it makes it look more cinematic. Yeah. Like, doesn't it look so cinematic? Hold on, I know how to make it cinematic. Hold on, where is it? Ah, put the bars on. Badong. Badong. Double seven. <laughs> I'm here yeah. to drink beer and, and uh, go really fast. Uh, anyway. <laughs> the, the letterbox is fun, but it's really hard to fly when it's covering up your control panel. Okay. Yeah. So let's. Right, okay, we got our drive. Oh, wait, shit, 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 shit. Okay, well, hold on. I'll go, I'll go out for a test drive and then come back because I didn't get the fuel tanks. Fine. Now, how do you actually work this? That's my main question. You just you go into Super Cruise and you press your, whatever's your boost button. Okay, there's no like fire binding or whatever. No, and then you turn it off and press the boost button again while it stays on. Oh, okay, so it's a toggle situation. I should have not told you that, should I? I should let you put it on and then go, oh, I don't know how to. All right, See what we are about to test. I'm going to test it by seeing how fast I can get around this planet. All right, this is the first test of the new Super Cruise boost. All right, so and then we boost. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Turn, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. So. Okay, that blasted me like well past that planet. Hold on. I yeah, activated I it for good. one second. How how far did we get? How far is planet? Oh my out? god! It's all the way back <laughs> there. Morning. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, I blacked out. Ow! Ow! My eyes. Wow. Okay, so you can smash into planets. Okay. Right, she just face blood. Fine. Okay. Oh, I got a safety cooldown. So how long, this is like um, this is like a video I saw where it's like okay those like the the new modern like uh, stealth bombers or whatever, it's like because it, it's a video I was watching while watching uh, but yeah. uh, proof that aliens are real um, is because they were watching like UAPs and they're like that thing is going like like sixteen thousand miles an hour and it just <laughs> makes a left turn, it's like yeah the the fastest thing is like our stealth bombers. And for them to make a ninety degree turn, it would take them half the continent of North America at top speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much fuel did you use up? Your little fuel bar on the right. Um, not much, not much. But I only had it yeah, on for like two seconds. Hold on, malfunctioning. Yeah. yeah. Why is it malfunctioning? <laughs> uh, didn't grab too well. Where is my FSD? Sixty-nine percent. How did it get knocked down to that? Okay, so apparently, smashing Maybe into a. Hit. Yeah. yeah <laughs> this is ludicrous speed. This is not like uh, accurate at all. <laughs> okay, we're back. Okay. 
Alright, let's uh, engage. Let's see what you got. Okay. Whoa, okay! Okay! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my lord! Oh, this is amazing! Okay, I'm heating up! I'm heating up! Let's get the beast arm back! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! It says overcharged uh, attempt um, as well on, on your thing. What does that cool. mean? Oh my oh, god, 16, we went way past the beast chart. Okay. You're 16,000, 25,000 away now. I'm turning around. Oh, hold on. The fuel is... Okay. Fuel. 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 Whoa. Oh my lord. <laughs> Alright, let's get back. Over, over. Cooldown cycle, what? Oh man. Get what? really hot as well while I do this. My fire lunch get hot so quick. My, my python didn't seem to get hot at all. Okay, here we go, baby. Oh, I'm almost out of fuel. Oh, this might be a little bit too much fuel <laughs> yeah. usage. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Right, where, where, where are you? Uh. Oh god! Ah! Hit planet again. <laughs> okay, we're out of fuel to maintain it. Okay, uh, yeah, not bad. I got within a thousand light seconds. Wow! Okay! <laughs> Corrupt a wish indeed. Okay. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 that was fun! That cool, isn't it? Wow. Like yeah, that, that, that is, um... I mean, again, I don't think it's actually useful, because, like, number one, it gets damaged real easy. I'm at 25% now on my first strut. Yeah. So, like, I would not take this out. I would not take this out on, um, exploration. Wow. So, if I try and stick... Oh, well, I was going to try and stick to if. Do you get a chance to boost if I try and stick to I don't think you can! <laughs> like, like, you're going fast! Like, you're going faster than than anything! Yeah. I don't know, that's crazy! If I, where are you down there? If I try to do it now, a minute ago I was behind you, but I did I just... Hold on, let me, let me go back to Polanski, let me get, um, get fuel tanks fuel. to give myself yeah. a little boost, and then what we'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll go right in front of you and get an AFMU. I don't have uh, room on my ship for one. Probably not. Um, but yeah, you can go right by me in Super Cruise, and then we'll boost at the same time. And then see if well, uh, like it's, if you can introduce me in out of Star a boost. Wars. Star Wars, when they come out of jump speed in, in Star Wars, they're always a bit like yeah. loopy. Or, and like, kind of gave me that vibe. Like, oh, it's all a bit, like, it's all a bit crazy. Yeah. Like but this is the thing, like jumping, like the fact that we hit stars dead on. It's like yeah, like I yeah. kind of like the randomness of like like, I, and then again like like. That could be something if they ever do revise jump mechanics, right? Is oh, okay, yeah, you jumped a really long time. Part of the minor failure stuff is either a you end up in the wrong system nearby, or you end up at the B star, or you end up in the middle of the two stars, or under you yeah, know yeah. near the surface of a planet. You're like ah, you know, like so, <laughs> yeah. something like that, right? Like jumping in at the stars um, is getting a bit old, you know. Mm. Like strapping a Rolls Royce jet engine to a seventy eight Pinto. That is very accurate. Like that felt like okay. Like there's, there's no way that this ship should have this much power. Like that yeah. was fast. Like I thought okay, because I watched a video, but I guess I really wasn't paying attention. Um, yeah, that's freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah, the third lance was really hard to to fly in a straight line at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love it though. Now okay, yeah, so right. What if you? Hmm. Like, what if you took a Type 9 and just put only fuel tanks on it? Yeah, it's just... got no shields, fuel tanks, and... Yeah, you couldn't... I think someone tried to go to... Oh, the big report of loads of fuel tanks and... Don't get there. It doesn't but use so much think... fuel if you don't let it accelerate so long. But wait, okay, so... Can, wait, if you turn it off... Do you still, um... Keep the speed? I wasn't sure because you slowed down from what you were doing, but I think you, I don't know. I think hmm, okay. it must help you, wasn't it? This requires further we'll testing. We'll find out. We'll find that out. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I like, yeah. This. I like this a lot. Well, this is going to really affect buckyball racing style stuff because it will be a bit more. Oh like, yeah. yeah! Oh my the real, god! The real like, skill of yeah. The, the thing is also like yeah, like the skill is um, how to stop. Uh, without blowing up or yeah, yeah, blowing past your target, right? Whoa. Oops. Uh, three, three, three. Oh, hold on. There we go. Five, 
Sat in the colors. Why good, would this man? take so long? I've got to schedule to keep. I love the Technicolor. It just like it makes yeah. everything look so um, like everything. It, like it just rained Technicolor. recently. <laughs> yeah. You know when after it rains and the world just looks so freaking beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what Ghost Raft is doing right now? I knew they would, those lovable bastards. <laughs> okay, like, it's like, that's a very Ghost Raft thing to do, is take the heaviest ship and make it go the fastest. I mean, th in theory, like, a Type 9 with um, one of these super cruise drives, if it were to hit an Earth like world, like, that's a planet killer at that speed. Yeah, like, that, you know, it's like an asteroid the size of a school bus would be threatening us here on Earth, right? A T9 traveling at this, at this speed? <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. Maybe this is maybe this is our Death Star. Um, why do I have a caustic sink launcher on? Was that an what old? Um, I probably would just put it here to put something. The crate is it an old? Yeah, an old. Um, uh, maybe that Maelstrom running ship, not from the old Maelstrom running days. I'm just gonna I'm gonna store that and maybe get um... another heat sink. Because it seems yeah. like the heat sinks are a little bit important here. Um, okay. So I feel like... Okay, so I got a 3C fuel tank. Maybe I could take out this module reinforcement and replace it with even more fuel to go even further and faster. I like that, yeah, I reckon. Oh, I could put a 6C. Oh, yeah. Fuel me up, daddy. <laughs> what else could I get rid of and put fuel? I guess I don't need limpets and cargo. I'll just order those back to the carrier later. Because <laughs> that means even more fuel. 5C, okay. Now we're talking. And then another 3. Why can't you get a size 4 fuel scoop set? see the map there, right there. So not, a six of five and two three fuels i mean i'm gonna keep the fuel scoop just in case yeah i mean i can get rid of the shield generator and get even more fuel but i feel like that <laughs> might be a little let's let's do some further testing first let's see what let's see what this does you have 96 tons of fuel yeah well npcs are that the growth did but well, i don't know if they will where do i find oh, out like oh, my wouldn't... max fuel like we're uh probably in outfitting right because there's all that yeah. stuff at the bottom there let's see here fuel 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 it's fuel, fuel. got 96 tons of fuel it says race you yeah. a star that's a lot <laughs> <laughs> fuel capacity i got 144 buddy <laughs> oh, man, 144 wow. tons of fuel i'll see you in i'll see you at hutton orbital sir <laughs> <laughs> Refuel. Uh, oh my uh, god, that costs like almost almost six thousand dollars just to refuel. At Ten thousand heats as well, so then you'll be at. Oh, I didn't oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, well NPCs <laughs> use this too, I wonder. Be cool, wouldn't it? They did. I hope so. I mean it'd be cool when to just like boosted. I just want to be in Plus, Super Cruise and then see like I actually I wanna see someone like just like take off in Super Cruise and just woo! Yeah. When I had you selected, it said um, surge detected, and then it said like um, uh, over overcharge or something. So in red, something Ooh. shows, which is quite cool. I like that. Yeah. Get there. Okay. So let's, let's leave the mail slot. I'm feeling faster. I'm feeling faster. I get ditched all that weight. All I got is fuel on me. Woody 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 Beach Woody Woody Star, 18 k away. away. All right, that's what we're gonna target then. Woody so what Woody I'll do is I'll I'll get in front of you to go so, and yeah. then I'll activate the boost. Well, or we'll do a countdown. Activate the boost at the same time. So I wonder if, if I try if I try and stitch you, can you boost before as it starts? Can you get away? Do you know what I mean or not? Can I break the introduction really by boosting? Good. Yeah, that'd be a really cool tactic. Okay, so we'll test that first. Just try one first. Yeah. 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 Okay, so there is the call. So, okay, so I'm gonna try to get in front of you, or just target the uh, target the B star, and I will start heading towards it. B star, B star, B star. Okay, and now if you want to get behind me, yeah, go go ahead and try to interdict me, and then I'll activate the yeah. thingy and see if that actually breaks it. Okay, and I'll be at like I don't want to be at like zero because I don't want to submit. Where is he? 
contact, spatula. Right, on the remote, I'll try and do it now. Okay, activating, oh, canceled interdiction in progress. Right, okay. So you can't, um, like, uh, okay, so. Yeah, so you have to do it for something else, because that'd be cool if you could. I'll, we just, I'll just, I'll just I'll submit, I'll submit, I'll submit. Because then our FSDs have to recharge. Oh, yeah. I guess yours does. Whoa. Mine doesn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I can only activate it right now. <laughs> can you imagine? That? It's just like it's like that yeah. thing in the 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 the, yeah. the the final Jedi or whatever, where yeah, where, where the dude just like jumps hyper. Cable. Yeah, it was like the chick from That's Jurassic cool. Park or whatever. Right. So we'll we'll jump now and then we'll start boosting, shall we? So okay. I've only got about three tons of fuel on this thing, so I'll be I'll lose. But it's not far away though. Okay. So go. you start boosting Watch first, the, and I want to see like what happens. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now I'm coming at you. Already. I'm coming at you. Oh, I can't go straight on. Oh god. Good. I like that. That it just like you have to oh, kind of wow. keep like readjusting. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. How far away? <laughs> are you? How far away I am. Whoa. I've gone past oh, it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh yeah, I'm far past it. Okay, let me let me turn it off and let's see. Yeah, so it does, it does slow you down fairly quickly. Yeah. Like, I wish it maintained the speed and, like, you would lose your Warning, heat. Oh, that's interesting. Overcharge signature fading. So there's, like, a whole... Yeah. Fading thing. All right, so... Oh, I'm 9,000. I'm going did, 200. Wait, I, I stopped it. You better stop your... Um, I stopped mine as well, yeah. Okay, okay. So let me... Um, okay, so... Okay. Wait. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like hot rod racing. It's like, oh. It really is. I want. Oh, that would be cool. Okay, so let me get close to you, and then yeah. we'll I will get in front of you, and then okay. So now just target Woodwardy A. Woodwardy A. And now, and get behind me to like into. I'll let you get like right behind me to like where Woody you can Woody super A. cruise. Uh, so okay, so let yeah. me let me slow down to nothing. So get right behind me and then put your brakes on. You. Yeah. Uh, make sure that you're within range of Super Cruise. Or, no, uh, within range of interdictions. And yeah, so what we'll do... So what we'll do is... I'm going to max out my throttle. Right? Yeah. So we'll do a 3-2-1. We both max our throttles. Try to maintain yeah. the distance, right? Then I'll do another 3-2-1. Yeah. We both engage Super Cruise. And then you try to interdict me, like, right as soon as we get into it. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. That's cool. So 3-2-1 yeah. will go to max, and then 3-2-1 will go to yeah. Super Cruise. Okay, so... Okay. So three, two, one. So go to max speed. Cool. All right. Yeah. Are you still within range? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So three, two, one. Engage. All right. Interdict. There we go. Oh, it worked! It worked! I so can, you. But it's, I can't. <laughs> keep the, oh yeah. Never you know. Can, you can Whoa. actually get. You can actually super cruise someone in, and it takes away their overcharge. Yeah, yeah. Which I think are fading. Yeah. That's oh. cool. Okay, so but I had to... Okay, right. That was but so cool. I was boosting as well. I wonder if I wasn't boosting, if I could, super, if I could do it here. <laughs> I, I bet, like, within a second, yeah. I'd be too far away. Yeah, totally. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm already 4,000 light years from the B-Star. Oh my god, let me go back <laughs> to the B-Star. I'm going to start back there. Because this is so crazy. Oh my lordy. So actually, yeah, if you put a lot of fuel on this thing, yeah. it's then it's heat that you have to worry about. So now I'm starting yeah. to think, and I'm starting to think, okay, do you remember that, that dropship build that I had that was, like, optimized for dealing with heat? Like, oh, this, yeah, could, yeah. this could actually work really well on a dropship, too. Yeah. Can you re-enable it while being interdicted? No, we tested that. So once you're interdicted, it go, it shuts down and then like it will yeah, it will speeding. refuse to activate. If I wasn't also boosting, I wouldn't have caught up with tied up with the other thing. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna go to the B star. And I'm gonna target the A star. I already am. Okay, cool. And I'm just gonna see uh, how fast I can go before I die. Cool. <laughs> and then, First of all, um, let's go through the gravity wall. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> At range, well, let me think you're tall you again so fast. So also, there is a max, I think it's like 2,000 and something, C. Let's see if yeah, we get yeah. to the max. Or are we, yeah, yeah, we're getting to the max. 2,280, oh wait, now we're at 2,000, oh, okay, okay, we keep, let's keep going, let's keep Whoa. going. Uh, 2,700. This is the fastest I've ever been. Yeah, I know, it goes really fast, man. Oh my lord, okay. It's like when you're turning, you lose a little bit of speed, but let's see, what can we, can, what's the new maximum? Oh my god, oh my god. So it's like, seems to be maxing at around 3,400, like, oh my lordy. I think someone got to 4,000, they said, I think, but I don't know how. <laughs> How'd you fly the straight line? It's just like, what? Starting to head back. But yeah, I did Turning 12, is very difficult. Luck. Yeah. Kind of gives you, like, that interdiction shakiness or whatever. But I actually yeah. like that. It's it's a good, that's a good compromise. I still have half a tank of fuel. I am at 1,000 heats. Oh my god, my heat record. This could be the new meta. I think my, the problem is my modules are going to bake sooner than... Like, I'm betting you, like, I'm going to... Before I run out of fuel, I'm going to... Yeah, here we go. I ran... It just malfunctioned. But wait, I'm still going fast. Okay, turn, 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 turn. Oh! Oh, I'm dead! You all is at 1%. Yep. <laughs> yep. That took, what, like 30 seconds? Yeah. Oh my lord, I love this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a chest. This is fun. <laughs> this is yeah, fun and it is, and it is dengus. Yeah. There's a real like, you know, a real, there's a real art of using it, which is quite cool. Yeah, it's very situational. Like I do hope that they will expand maybe like again, like can I engineer better fuel efficiency? Can I uh, put this on an A rated um, you know, like I definitely think like this is a good start. And proves mm. that they can do it. They could do this whole damn time. They just were, they just wanted us yeah, to be slow cool. and turtleish. <laughs> but it, oh, there's a technology broker here. What do they do? Hold on, let me let me just see. Do I have any cartographic data? Oh no, I just blew up. Why would I have cartographic data? What kind of technology broker we got here? Oh, I still oh, like I say this, this is a human this one. I never see these guys. Yeah, this doesn't change the um, B star C star the C star thing, is it really? Because it's, it's, it's okay for him to do 20,000, but doing that 200, I reckon. Well, maybe it would work 200, I don't know. Oh, yeah, explain, it, it is super fun. Any Bond movies where 007 yeah. goes really fast? Well, um, um, the one that comes to mind is Moonraker. And he's not in a car, yeah. though. He's He actually is in, like, the thing that the astronauts sit in, where they, they just to, like, experience G-forces, where it's basically, like, um, a centrifuge. Like, he sits in a chair, and it just goes around and around and around. And then oh, the, bad yeah. guy, the bad guy, like, breaks it, and it keeps going around, and he sort of passes out, but I think he manages to use his watch to and break the... Watch the cut I think through. he's got a watch yeah, yeah. gun or something that can shoot the, the <laughs> thing. So, yeah, and then, then you get Roger Moore, just like his face going um, all... Uh, Stroke. Yeah. You know, <laughs> rocket yeah. sled. I'm trying to think, what other movies does Bond go super fast in? Yeah. I mean, he's always driving fast. What do you yeah. need for these shock cannons? Okay, vanadium, tungsten... Man, technetium... Ion just... Yeah, these are the ones that still require some sort of commodity. Yeah, Apparently, I need yeah. technetium for uh, many reasons. That's technetium. a pretty, that's a pretty rare material. You have to bust a lot of rocks to get that. I mean, really, yeah. material trader is the way to go, probably. But yeah, apparently, you need a lot of it. I would like to get shock cannons though, because I saw many had once put together. Basically, he showed me this where he put together like a, a Type Nine with. Um, all shock cannons. And the thing about yeah. shock cannons is the way they work is like, basically they're like rapid fire, like think of like multi cannons, right? But as, um, but they don't, um, I think they like, it, yeah, okay, like they, they don't, they automatically reload and if the clip is fully depleted, they longer reload. So basically like when you aren't using them, they kind of regenerate themselves, right? Oh, I see, you're right. And yeah. as you're shooting them, the jitter increases. So the longer you're shooting them, the more inaccurate they are. But oh, what you wow, do, wow. this is what he showed me, is you basically only put two on one fire group, put the next two on the next fire group, and the next two on the next fire group. And, and then rather, and you just keep switching fire groups. So you're just yeah. alternating from two, these two, then these two, these two. By the time you get back to the original, they're reloaded and, all, and your accuracy is held up. And the thing is just like a constant barrage. Like it was literally like the most DAC I've ever seen. Cool. 
Like, if you don't know Mini, by the way, like, check out Commander yeah. Mini on... Uh, he does some insane shit. Some of the, the galaxy's most insane schemes um, in terms of engineering come out of that gent. Cool, okay. So I need, I need power converters to buy some of those. I've got everything else, I think. It takes a lot of stuff, though, doesn't it? But I already got power converters from Toshi Station. Is that the Liz up the line? Toshi Station? It may be, yeah. From Star, from Star Wars, where? Oh, oh, yeah. I already got the power converters from Toshi Station. That's like Luke Skywalker's first line. Oh, right, yeah. It's like this epic hero that we all kind of know is just like, you know, this this like massively cool Jedi. This first like line in the movie is, Oh, that one, I don't get power converters from Toshi Station. He's such a wimp at the beginning, which is great. Like that it yeah. gives him a journey and all that. <laughs> yeah, no, Uncle Ben, I don't want to go to Toshi Station. Get power converters. <laughs> Okay, um, this, this is cool, so hold on, I might, because I wanted to do, like, passenger, pick up a passenger mission, so maybe, do they have, what can I sacrifice here? I guess I, I don't need planet, okay, do they have, hold on, how do I do this? I just want to see, do they even have passenger modules here, because... Sometimes they don't. You, it's like a single passenger in your ship. That's what I was thinking, and just see how fast we yeah. can go. Before you, like, hopefully, oh, they don't sell them here. Oh, how does my jump range get impacted by this? Oh, that's not bad. 22, 26. I think it went down by probably half. Yeah, I think it's about a third or quarter off it. I mean, this is still, like, in the bubble. 26, 20, 30, um, oh god, it's okay. F FST and you know, booster as well, can you? But I reckon, okay. like you say, for doing close, say you got your carrier full of stuff and you've got to load things into a CD, you might want this to be able to zip past people. Or again, for power play, pamphlet deliveries. I hope that <laughs> if they don't don't change the pamphlet loading of ten at a time, <clears throat> I'm gonna go and punch them in the face. Right? <laughs> just like, come on, guys. Do you know I mean? That's okay, there is game. a communist um, tourism system over there with a million people. And what about this one? This one has a big station. I'm going to head to Bernard Vision in I'm a, I see him no, LP24447 see if I can buy some passenger cabins there. You remember there's a rocket sled in one, maybe Cannonball Run. Oh my god. I want to see Cannonball Run is, is that Burt Reynolds? Yeah. That's like the one where they have to go from like, they have to go like across North America in one big old race. Or is that Death Race? No, uh, that's similar, yeah. It's, it's, um... One of them is yeah. like ridiculous and unrealistic. Death <laughs> Race, death race is, yeah, that was last Death Race, yeah. <laughs> the girl's tops always come off in yeah, those films. It's great for on-foot <laughs> missions and system. Oh yeah, you get from one planet, like, I mean, to get from one planet back to the station, like, super quick, right? I can definitely see, like, the, the local uses of it, right? Like, especially, like, if you are in a system where it's like, okay, the station's like 10,000 away. Okay, cool. You just boost for a second, right? Um, of course, I am spatula, and, um, I don't do things in moderation. So this could be a problem for me. This actually, like, could be, like... Could lead to a whole, new hey, uh, and a whole new how, how a new ways to die. <laughs> Holy dangerous! It's just yeah, all yeah, that's super more. Smash into a black <laughs> hole. Ooh, that could be fun. Oh uh, yeah, so if, it, if it damages, if you hit it hard, it pretty kill you. Good. Um, Let's see. Can you jump? No, you can't. You're not allowed to jump while you're in boosty mode. Right. So you can't like boost into your. Oh, this would be good for Thargoids too, probably. Eh? Oh yeah, getting to if, if they getting bring those super dictions back or whatever. The, the maelstrom is long, so the the, the, the later uh, right. maelstroms are quite far Some away. Some of them get farther away. Yeah. Yeah. They're quite I mean, good. you're gonna you're gonna get there with a little bit of heat and. Possibly and the ships run something. cold anyway, aren't they? Usually for the maelstrom, so could be good. Something else to fit on those ships. I mean, it'll definitely help you avoid them glaives. Uh, the drive gives my current set of 32 light year range compared with 69. Yeah, though it definitely is like um, a sacrifice there. 
I mean, again, I, I think if this is like first stage and they're going to release more models that are potentially less, less extremely situational, that could be cool. Yeah. Would be cool. Warning, Let's see if I can boost there. Okay. <laughs> oh god, no, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down! <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is gonna make some awesome loop of shames, eh? Wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the whole brand new way of doing things. Okay, that actually worked so, out. That actually worked out. Just just a second, and it just pushed me out there. That probably cut like a whole thirty seconds off my super cruise journey. Yeah. Maybe even totally. more. Maybe even more. Yeah. I think it takes quite a lot off. That. So I think we forget. See, so when you suddenly go, I've got I only got seven hundred go, and it takes ages. You're like, come on. Mm. <laughs> The old seven seconds of the forever seconds. Yeah, it totally is. Uh, where am I? I'm in Wody Wody. Is this course. a water world? Yeah, it's a water world. Very nice water world. Not a lot of land, which I assume is how they're <laughs> supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. very dry water world. So this was a, it was a water world. <laughs> and someone drank it. Yeah. It's okay. we, we, we needed water for our machines. Yeah. <coughs> Those bastard robots! They drained our water world! Now, all I need is um, one for not Super Cruise. Like, give, give me another... Well, I guess we have a boost, but I want, like, another boost. Yeah. <laughs> give me, like, not Super Mega Turbo Afterburner. Okay, coming here to dock. But I, um, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Okay, I can't see anything. Hopefully, no one's in the mail slot because the bloom is off the charts. Yeah. Oh, look at this! <laughs> it's a nice station with all the statues and fountains. Look at this. This little flag garden. It's like the Epcot Center. <laughs> you have a little park about. here. They got little benches. You could go and sit on those benches. Not. <laughs> that's that's in the next Odyssey. Oh, a type ten super cruise fuel tank. Oh, super cruise assist can work with that. Wait, wait, wait. Is this not my pad? Oh shit. Okay, I'm really. I, I, I think I think super cruise assist switches off with it. I think. But if you could use that in conjunction with super cruise assist, then it just jump out and then have it on. Then wow, yeah, pretty cool. Then when the speed indicator in needle is visible, decrease it to four seconds. Back to all to what, cruise. Okay. What I like is it's, it's changed a really, you know, a part of the game's been set for so long. It's suddenly changed it, and I like that. Be brave, FDev. Exactly. Let's 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 blaze a new trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta pay a fine. Hopefully, I didn't yeah, let's, piss them off too much. When, when, when we've scanned the system, we know where the C star is. Let us jump there, you know. So we, we have to go to the A star and then scan the whole system, and then you can then re jump to the one in there. But maybe that's just, I haven't built the game that way to read the data. Not with plaid mode, just when approaching your station. Oh, yeah, because Super Cruise Assist is a much better um, nav lock or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, in Super Cruise Assist and Super Cruise Boost actually might be two great tastes that taste good together. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Does this station have... Hold on, let's just... Uh, nope. I'm look at this. Do you have... You sell... Huh? That's it? Armor and flight assist. Are you kidding me? So what have got. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. All right. I do want to try this super cruise assist. Maybe I will drop this planetary vehicle hanger. I don't need a scorpion. Uh, Where is the computer? <laughs> I wish there was also a filter here where it's like just turn off everything that is that is shit that I have stored in another system. Like yeah, only show yeah. me locally available doohickeys and gizmos. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna buy a super cruise assist here, but I'm gonna need a place to find uh, uh, what do you call them? Tourisms. Tourist. Well, there's another one right here. I mean, I could just give it a give it a try. 
think they'll get scared and they'll complain or think they're just quite good if they build that in like your your passengers Ooh. emptying his bowels but like okay okay wait is it like tourism economies are the ones where you because this is tourism and high tech you'd expect that yeah. that would have what i need right have good stuff is there another station here? Okay, let's check Bessemer Terminal. You know, with my new Super Cruise assist and drive, uh, it should only take a yeah. second to get there, right? Yeah, with some screaming on the way, but it'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Makes any journey more exciting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But oh my god, guys, I'm so fucking excited to launch this mystery thing with Elite Dangerous. That is oh, such yeah. a cool thing. I am. It's, it's basically done. I just need to do a trailer, that's it. Shouldn't tell you all that. Oh, really? If it takes me a week, then. Oh, no, I was yeah, lazy. Come on. <laughs> I've seen it, it looks good. It's so it's good. It's so good. There's, things, there's lots of stuff to do, that's what I like. You've not just gone go here, do that, do that. There's, there's things to figure out, which is cool, man. That's Did I hit nice. you, did, sir? Sorry. I saw you lurking by the mail <laughs> slot. You were too close to the mail slot, it's your fault. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> it's it's got mystery, it's got intrigue. You travel to different systems. There's some puzzles you have to solve. It's, it's very humorous. Like it's got all the elements of a, of a good old story. Okay, let me see if I could. Um, okay, super cruise assist and oh, I've blown past the destination. Wow. Um, okay, let me turn around here. <laughs> oh my god. I'm further from it than when I started. It was 120 light years away. Now it's okay. So, Super Cruise Assist is active. <laughs> yeah. Come on, booster. Yeah. Come on, booster. Oh, the booster doesn't work with Super Cruise Assist. No, it doesn't. It turns it off. Yeah. I think you have to well, if you jump. Right. If you come out of it and then go into Super Cruise Assist, then it might okay. latch you onto it. I'm try to do that. I mean, you've got to be aiming at it. <laughs> I wish that you could, yeah, kind of like, choo, 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 you know, like just kind of yeah, chug, chug, through, yeah. chug the button and just like choo, 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 little boosts. Yeah. Oh, Super Cruise Assist is boring. Screw that. <laughs> we boosted, baby! Okay, yeah. here we go. <laughs> we'll use the planet's <laughs> gravity. Or, uh, okay, now we do it. Oh, shit, I've already blown past it. Wow. Okay, that is <laughs> very powerful. Yeah, I think you forget how fast you're going. You're just, you're just going fast. Like, oh, I'm doing 200p. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. Were you doing 3,000? Were you doing something when you're on the last, in the last system? You it was over 3,000. Yeah. It was like 3,700 3, is the highest I got. And that's because, like, yeah. again, every time you, your ship leers to the side a little bit, you lose speed because it's, like, turning. Yeah. And then the faster you get, it seems like the more the impact of that is, where, where I was just going all over the place. Yeah, but freaking cool! Like, it, it, even if it's oh come on, seriously, I just got interdicted <laughs> by some jerk off NPC. You know what? <laughs> there's no escape bar in it. Well, there's no. You know who you're messing with, sir? <laughs> oh, he's in an Asp Explorer. Okay, this won't take long. Yeah. All right. I, I, for for crimes against Dangosity, you have been sentenced to death, <laughs> sir. You may now run away. This may look like an unprotected crate. It may be an unprotected crate. Yeah. <laughs> but I am Dengus, and all I need to do is boop you once and your shields are gone. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, stupid asp and their wily... Asps are really very slippery when it comes to um, uh, quick turns. Yeah, yeah. That's their secret. Quick turns, and they've got uh, six hard points. I remember, like, I had a combat asp all set up with, um, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, railguns. Oh, wow. wow. So I would basically just fire off six railguns. If I could get two shots on target, it was dead. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they're strange ships, they? like you say. They can turn quickly, but they can otherwise just feel like a big sort of stone that everyone can hit. He's running away. He's running away. Do not let Is him he? escape. Get him away. Oh, he's dropping cargo! I wasn't even pirating him! <laughs> you were pirating me! <laughs> and now he's like, uh, drop the cargo, drop the cargo. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can kill him. <laughs> Dead zombie as well. A little boop there. 
Oh yeah. That's what happened when you mess with it. Occupied escape pod. Okay, I'm gonna scoop him up. Yes, he's in there. Can we just add that? Oh, add hold on, Protolite Alloys. Protolite Alloys. Oh, I have Alloys. But yeah. if, you, if you need some, uh, let's see, your chemical processors. There's some good loot. But what I want is... Oh, there's two Occupied Escape Pods. Who did you have in your hold? Mr. H. Solo and... Uh... Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, 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 Dead Star, you killed him! <laughs> I saw that he booped right into the Occupied Escape Pod. It was, <laughs> it was over. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, cargo bay full. Oh, no. Okay, well, apparently I can't scoop you up because I don't have cargo. Well, then you must stay. Okay. <laughs> Are there any good materials? Let's see here. What do I need? I could use proto light alloys, actually. I only have 76 of them after all. Or 98 of them. We saved them from ourselves. From themselves. Yeah. I mean, I was I was the victim here. I got interdicted. I just wanted to test out my fancy new jump drive. I have to scoop this up the old-fashioned way. Careful. Careful. Stay Careful. on target. Stay on target. <laughs> what happened? It was on target. Why did that not go in the hold? They do be like this sometimes. Okay, now it's moving. Intercept a moving target. Yay, I did it. Okay. There we go. I'm awesome. Now back to the station. What were we doing again? I was looking for passenger bags. So that's right. Dengarunas, the scourge of the spaceways. I got, I, hey, again, I got scourged. I was removing the scourge from the spaceways. He got scourged. But, you know, I do what I must. Yeah. If, uh, if duty requires me to be the scourge, I will be the scourge. Yeah, I will be the scourge. You can't out-scourge this scourgester. Scourge, scourger? <laughs> scourger? Good scourgester? One who scourges. How do you say that? It must be a, a verb to scourge. Oh, this. this is a beautiful planet with, like, nice gray sort of marbly clouds. Like in this planet. Very nice. It's, it looks like overcast as hell. Like, I wouldn't want to live there. It's like London's yeah. planet. It's like the UK. <laughs> the, whole, the UK for a whole planet. They get, they get sunshine twice a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and then they complain about it. Oh, it's too hot. You oh, see, game hot. I can't drink my tea. <laughs> Put the kettle on. <laughs> I do sometimes. It's, it's one of those things where, um, from like being spending so much time in Bolognese or whatever, and then I go to like other stations. I'm like, oh, this station is like nice and blue neon, or this one's like got a yeah, gold yeah. tint to it. And it's like sometimes, yeah, just going into it. If you're getting bored of the visuals, like go to another system, and you might see cool planets that just like are different to look at. Like I'm sick and tired of that damn uh, gas giant that uh, is around Tiedman Orbital. It's actually quite yeah, beautiful, I and when you spend time away from the system, you come back, you're like. Damn, we lucked out. Like, this is actually, like, a very cool station to be orbiting this gas giant. It's got beautiful rings. Um, yeah. You can park your carrier at the moon that's not far from Tideman. Like, it's actually not a bad-looking um, station and uh, a situation. But you do tend to get tired of things when you see them a million times in this game, right? Yeah. But that's why it's like, yeah, like, just go to another part of the bubble, find new stations, and it feels fresh. It feels good. The scourge that makes the scourger into the scourgy... The scourgy. <laughs> the scourgy. Scourgy sounds like, yeah, it's like a disease. I got the scourgy, boss. What is this? Bounty vouchers. Oh, yeah, because because I did that. I murdered someone. That was evil. <laughs> that normally, was normally evil. I, get, I get the bounty voucher. I'm like, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. shouldn't have to pay off this. Oh, no, wait. They yeah. want to pay me. <laughs> yeah, the team is <laughs> dead. All right, let's see if we can actually get a passenger mission in this quote-unquote tourism system. Uh, passenger cabin. It's like you go to like a system that's like, we have a chocolate economy. Can I buy some chocolate? <laughs> no, yeah. we don't sell that so. to outsiders. 
All right. Come on, baby. Come on. No! Only flight assists. Really? Okay. All right. All right. So now it's like, do I go back to the Danga bus? Do I try another tourism system? That's crazy, or, man. Or go to Shinrata. Shinrata's a little bit far. It's over here. Yeah. Bologna is, is a little bit far as well. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for any passenger cabins. <laughs> okay. I'll look for you. Oh, yeah. Are you in Bologna? You in Bologna now? No, I'm in... What size? Where the hell am I? LP244-47. What size? That is a great question. Yeah. Um, probably... Oh. I will maybe replace my fuel scoop? Or a fuel tank. <laughs> um, maybe like a three. A three. Three something. Three, right. Let me say, right. Uh, half the search. A three. E. I, yeah, uh, whatever. They don't have to be fancy. I'm, I'm going to be doing one of those, like, um, tourism ones, right? Economy. Three economy capacity. And you are in it. Was it LP? Uh, LP244-47. LP244-47. No results. I would, I would look... What? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'd they removed them from the, the game? What? <laughs> I'll put the gap in the right place. Right. Oh, oh, oh. oh nearest okay. place is... Uh, at Water Station in Pientash. I'll put it in chat. Pientash? Pientash. Put Pientash. P-I-E-N. Put P-I-E-N into the old cartoon map. Penal. Um, There's a system penal. called penal. <laughs> oh no, wait, no, 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 wait. That's, that's a, no, hold on. The, it's not the system name, it is... Penal Carly. What? Is you know, I think like you can search called ground penal? bases, can't you? Is there a penal world? Oh, well, I don't know, I just searched penal and something came... Oh wait, I pro it's probably a bookmark. <laughs> yeah. A penal Carly near here. Yeah, okay, it's definitely a bookmark. Did I name the bookmark penal? What is this? <laughs> you might have been bored, lonely one night. <laughs> and what's next door to this? Well, it's probably penal colony, but... Yeah. Whoa! That's a big old star! Is that why I bookmarked this? No, I bookmarked a planet here. What is here? There's th two carriers here, Fight Club and Snow Circles. What is on this planet? Why did I bookmark this? Yeah. I mean, that could be worthy of checking out. I mean, it's only... Uh, how far is this? If I were to plot a distance here, that would be 19 jumps! Okay, no, that's not... Where yeah. is this? Oh, that... Oh, you know what that is? Oh! Oh, I know what that is! I know what penal is. <laughs> Because I'm going to find, here we go, first footfall on ah, this planet, you. right? On this planet, A, B, 1, B. I have first footfall here. Ha! Ah! This one, <laughs> however, that's not the one I have first footfall on, is the one where they have that penal colony uh, that was attacked by Thargoids. And oh, you can right. still go there and the Thargoids show up if you activate the base. So, nice. yeah. Actually, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that, and this might be spoilers for a future mystery that hasn't been written, but, like, the you, the way you can format mysteries is, like, sometimes they need passwords, and that's a good way to, like, you know, rather than someone just doing it, like, they can actually, um, uh, which we'll call it, like, oh my god, okay, this, I don't know what's in this system. <laughs> you sure it's Beantosh has stuff in it? Yeah, it's supposed to have uh, right, a place at, at water or something. I guess I just never scanned it before. But yeah, so, <clears throat> like, I could make the password, like, you know, like, um, to proceed in this mystery, tell me who discovered, who has first foot, the commander's name, and whoever has first football on oh, the third see, moon of the cool. second gas giant. And it's like, yeah, if you're yeah. not in that system, then yeah. in the game, like, you can't do it. It's impossible. That's quite cool, actually. I like that. Which those, we... it was, it's, some people ju can't just, like, run through your mystery, and, and like, in, in the one that I have... There are, like, every solution is in there. It's like you can click a button and it'll reveal the solution. Like, I didn't want people yeah. to get have to get stuck or whatever. 
Uh, but I do yeah. chastise them if they use that button. <laughs> <laughs> but you give them like five levels of clues on one of them, I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's brilliant, though. yeah. Because like, there's no, there's nothing when you can't even start a, a puzzle. It's too, too frustrating. Yeah, it's just well, that's it. Because I remember there was one that we were stuck on for the longest time, and then it turned out to be a spectrograph, and that was really cool. Um, yeah. There was there was another one that I was looking at, which I haven't done that mystery yet, but I was just looking at them to see how other people were formatting and get some inspiration and stuff. And um, at Water Station, yeah, apparently. So wait, yeah. now that I have this scanned, is it going to show? Huh. This is weird. I guess there's yeah, there's still stuff in the bubble. That's oops, that was a heat sink. Oops, that was another one. Okay, stop <laughs> wasting all your heat sinks, man. How far away is this thing? Only 182. Well, I could try a little boost. <laughs> oh yeah, now, now I'm looking to boost that. Dead stuff. Ah! Okay, I overshot. <laughs> the madness of, of the jump. I like it. I really like this booster. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, I like that it's not accurate. Again, I, I, I hope that we can engineer these things or get them in different varieties. Because the fuel thing and the heat thing and the craziness of it if you nav block nav it's, but what does nav block mean oh to someone else is it what's that nav block thing we used to do I don't know engage teammate nav block so if, so if I'm somewhere else then you might oh. have jump oh. Oh. like I could nav lock on dead star yeah and then and then boost right now and look at that I don't know what's going on. Oh my god! Interesting! So is it really so we got I said we've got a few of you in the little So you little can little you way. can you can navlock. Yeah. So if you navlock a friend and then you basically like like lock in on them, you can boost and it'll it'll drop you from boost right to that instance. So this could be the, the thing where it's like, yeah, like okay, like you get the first guy out there, he might have to travel the long way. But then it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, hey, my teammate's under attack. I gotta get over to them. Boom. That's cool. Because then, like, yeah, oh, if you're getting ganked, right? And it's like, oh, God, he's getting ganked. Where is he? He's on Pluto. Don't worry, I'll be there in a second. Yeah. Right? Well, That's again, if one of you's cool. got to the Maelstrom, Maelstrom then the rest can all just whiz to his Exactly. Teammate, you know? Exactly. Cool. You just gotta make one person do the suffering bit. And then everyone else can be happy. Yeah. Oh, I hate when you get the mail, the the docking pads that are right. All right, let's fine. I have insurance. Okay. There we go. It's ish. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we think Oya runs with the thing next week. Well, I mean, is it is it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I do not think I, I do not keep it up with the war. I assume that we've made some progress in Oya. I'm not sure how much. I remember the last thing I remember was it got kind of nerfed. Um, but I'm sure that the Valiant um, AX commanders are out there tickling spires. We were going to do that today. And I was like, yeah, I do need to make money and stuff. But then I'm just like really into this elite Dengus, Dengarus, uh mystery stuff. And I kind of just want to explore a bit. It's kind of br brought up that, ex like, just the, the amount of lore that's hidden in the game. That passenger missions or or um, cannon or whatever like there's so much stuff to discover, and I love how these mysteries like bring that to light. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah, it's it's just really cool, isn't it? The things that are in game that you don't even know are there, and um, yeah, it's just like yeah, it's, good, it's a good way to have a way of accessing that stuff. All right, passenger cabins they do exist. Okay, I could get a business class. Oh. Yeah, let's do let's, we're gonna do some business here, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna sacrifice eight at, at a little three fuel. I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of fuel, but that's okay. That's so right, but you see. can take a business plus person and you can scare the living hell out of them. So let's see here. So you wanna do this personal transportation. This is where the interesting shit happens. Um, again, some of them don't like your hull being damaged, do they? So Well so, some yeah. of them can go get dropped into <laughs> yeah, the yeah, sun yeah. If, they, if they don't like it. Not the um, most fun ever on that little journey. Okay, so there's a lot of locked stuff here because I haven't got a lot of reputation in this system I've never been to. Um, obviously, yeah. they don't subscribe to the channel, so... Um, <laughs> let me see here. Actually, I got a YouTube comment today on the friggin' um, Overlord of Erevid video 
And it's oh, like, really? I, I, it's like it happens at least once every few months where like some older video, someone comments and goes like, "Why the hell doesn't this have th tens of thousands of views?" Don't ask me. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> click the YouTube button that yeah. says like, "Please hide this from everyone." Um, okay, so there's one tourism looking for Olbin Succession, Blue Jewel, and Ice Geysers. Um, I'm assuming those last two are probably going to be more environment. You know, to look at something pretty. Olbin Succession yeah. sounds like lore, but uh, I don't know who Olbin sounds is. Sounds like big lore. Yeah, could be a long way away. I like the load. There's just the sightseeing ones. I don't tell you. They often go to interesting near, near place don't they whereas if you name somewhere big often it's like 20,000 or something. and some of these are just like bring people to a system okay bountiful yeah. system ice geysers and sutoki visitor beacon uh which is all like it sounds all very yes oh yeah it's ice like geysers something. and ice geysers this guy really likes ice geysers What's his profile? Let's see. Cowardly, laid back, low value, neutral, and demanding. I don't know if I'm gonna. Young Flowers? His name is Young Flowers. <laughs> hey, Young. And then the rest of these are kind of. Hold on. Early Colonies and Gleesey 105.2 Visitor Beacon. What's Gleesey 105.2? Is that a. Like a Lisi, it's a system, isn't it? Point two? Yeah. Point, what what point systems two? have a point two in them? I know, yeah. I've <laughs> never heard that one. It's like, it sounds like a radio station. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Come on, 105.2. Drive time. It's 200. Like, I think that could be a candidate. Like, and then the other one's Early Colonies, which I see. Delta Pavonis. Oh, okay. Delta Pavonis. Why does that... Hmm. I'm going I'm, I'm to take this guy. I'm going to take him. Yeah. Let's not judge. Let's not judge. Let's just be. He'll open. enjoy himself, I'm we'll, sure. We'll, we'll blaze the trail. Johnny <laughs> Church is his name too. He's got a cool name. Yeah. Right, Johnny. Johnny, welcome aboard. We're gonna go fast today, Johnny. I hope. I hope your. I hope your uh, <laughs> targets are all like very far from the star because I've got. <laughs> do I have the solution for you? <laughs> it's business time. Where is Johnny's little profile though? I guess he's in here. Uh... Yeah, Once they're on the ship, you can't really see them, eh? So if you go into, is he in transactions then or not? Is he like a, is there a, there's a um, passenger mission thing on the left, isn't there? Yeah, I know the transactions. I'm just like, it would be nice. Like, I wish that they would just show up in in one of the seats, like yeah, like, yeah, like, a, totally. like a hollow me person. Yeah. yeah so let's see. This guy is cowardly, laid back, low value, neutral, and demanding. That's that's. Sounds kind of like me, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a man of my own heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coward lead to Roger, that's amazing. It's like, yeah, no, I'm not, I don't, I just want to be taken places and I'll probably complain. <laughs> yeah, you can take me all over the bubble. I'm laid yeah. back, but I'm also demanding. I saw quite a crazy right. mixture, isn't it? Yeah. I don't mind, but I really do mind at the same time. Yeah. So Delta Pavonis <laughs> with uh, Jet Cone Boost is only about three jump, four jumps away. There's a couple Ooh. Neutron Stars that can help. And then from there, I can't remember where the heck it was going. Hopefully not in the opposite direction, because yeah, my jump range is not amazing. Delta Pavonis, it's near Epsilon Indy, it's near Seoul. We can actually visit Mid Middle and Hollow on the way. Oh yeah, I'm afraid. Huh? Whoa, 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 hold on. He's already got a demand. Really? Locate goods. What do you want? Consumer technology. Require cargo space, too. Well, Johnny, I hate to disappoint you here, buddy, but I don't have cargo space. Well, hold on. Do we... I need a bio break as well. I need a bio break. If you don't open the message, it doesn't affect you too much. Well, you can just you can just refuse it. You can just say, I don't want it, but I think it does. Well, if you never open it, then you just go, I didn't get the message. Sorry, my comms are broken. Yeah, it's one of the most companies I work for. <laughs> well, I think it is good yeah, time, good time, good good for a bio break right now. I think I think I got a yeah, I, I got a PP, uh, and then we can take Johnny all over the place and see what the heck he's all about. Hopefully, get some food, some little um, inspiration for the next uh, mystery oh, yeah, I can yeah. write. Which is why what the heck we're trying to do anyway. But um, hang on to your kidneys. <laughs> we'll be right back. Be right back.
Feeling good! <coughs> Random coughing fit right as I mute. Classic spatula. Okay. Just give me a sec here, because I gotta actually... I gotta order food, because I won't have time to make it. I'm gonna order... Pizza's too much. <laughs> Pizza's just too much. Too much. I need something light. Um, light, but like satisfying. I think tonkatsu. I gotta go, go for a chicken katsu. That sounds good, my yeah. I good. love chicken katsu. Just let me not order. <laughs> I accidentally ordered the katsu curry last time. I don't mind the katsu curry, but like, I just like the original chicken katsu. That's my, that's my, that's my deal. I love Japanese food. Dead Star says he's got a pork pie. He's good. Have you ever had a pork pie, mm. spatula? I've had a They're pork quite pie. Crazy. Have you? I don't get. Yeah. I don't get them like a lot, but I've had one before. They're bonkers, man. And then... so solid feed. <laughs> solid. Fe uh, I mean, I, I prefer my food cartridges, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to love them as a kid. Yeah. Why? Okay, what? This place has, it's like you can get um, Diet Pepsi or you can get Pepsi, but it's an additional $2. No way. It's like, oh, I'll, take a, I'll take a ginger ale, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> $2, that's crazy, man. $2, yeah. It's, a, it's like it's really high brow with Diet Pepsi. So. Milton Mowbray Pork Pie. Ooh. All right, so we got a guy in our, in our cargo. Let me just place this <laughs> order. Will probably come and then I'll be able to eat right after the stream, and then everything should be on plan. Okay, uh, so we got to go to Delta Pavonis. Delta Pavonis, why is that name I so know. familiar? I to really me? know the name, I think it must have been in Garnet, maybe. I don't know, it's just, it's just one of those names, isn't it? It's, weird. it's probably referenced in like Radio 7 at some point, too. Yeah, or, or it definitely, like, I've definitely like referenced that system before. What's in there? We're gonna find out. Yeah, maybe you had it in a, in a spatula. Thing. But it's only Canadian dollars. How dare you? You know, okay, so this is so funny. I watched, um, so I'm actually, a famous shipyard. The what? A famous shipyard. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's a carrier system. I don't know. We're gonna find out. It's gonna be interesting. Got an imperial, like, I'm one of those. So, 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 so I went to, um, so my, my friend or whatever won tickets to this thing, and he's like, oh, there's this movie coming out called Civil War, and it's by this mm. somewhat famous director, you might have heard of him, Alex Garland. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, he did uh, Ex Machina, he did um, Annihilation, he did, tw like, 28, was it 28 weeks later or something? Or maybe he wrote the script for 28 days later? Like, he's a very good filmmaker. He did Sunshine. Um... Like, oh, yeah, really, I know. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah. filmmaker. Um, really good uh, catalog of movies. And it turns out that, that they were having a premiere in Toronto, and he was actually there. I didn't get to meet him, but was, you know, seeing him at arm's length away. I was like, oh, cool. That, that guy's awesome. I love Alex Garland. And um, uh, I got to see his new movie, Civil War. So it was like a like an early premiere sort of thing. Like they did an intro and a Q&A sort of thing. Um and it was cool. I liked it. Um, it was good. Um, probably yeah. not my favorite of his films, but I would say it's it's pretty interesting. Um, what's her name is in it? Uh, uh, who played um, uh, Mary Jane in the original Spider-Man? Uh, Kirsten, Kirsten Dunst. She's in it. Great performance by her. Um, they've got some some. Um, I want to say like not child actor. She's like. 15, 16, 17, 18, somewhere there. Um, yeah. Child actor was great. And then the guy from Narcos, standout, amazing. Like, really good overall cast. And it's basically yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's it's basically um, what's going to happen in four years when Trump's president again. It's this American Civil War. <laughs> and it's a pretty interesting portrayal. Like, like you know, it's just this crazy... Um, a lot of his movies involve, like, two characters making a journey. Like, it's basically the plot is, like, these are a bunch of journalists, and because there's civil war, uh, the, the, the you know some president gets elected into the White House and then decides to screw shit up, and then the country splits, and they're executing yeah. journalists in the Capitol, and, and it's it's it. Oh yeah, J Jesse Plemons is in it, and his scene is probably oh, yeah. the best, the best so scene in the whole damn movie. Pretty good, that does. Yeah, is it it's good? a it's a good movie, and Jesse Plemons is only in that yeah. scene, but that scene is the best scene in the movie. Um, cool. It's it's crazy. It's got like some harrowing shit. Um, it's a good movie. It's overall, it's pretty good. There's one line that stuck out to me where it's like, basically because the, U the U.S. economy is in the shitter, at one point they stop off at a gas station, and, you know, it's in, like, rural Virginia or something, 
and there's the basically like three dudes with like assault rifles sitting there guarding the gas station and they drop off they're like yeah we were just hoping to get some fuel uh, and they're like nope we're closed and we're like well, <laughs> well we can pay you it's like we don't want your money we can pay you yeah. in canadian all right i'm right. listening <laughs> <laughs> And That's everyone true. in the theater loved that one because, of course, it was a Canadian yeah. screening, right? So I was like, that was funny. So you just, you just wait, you just wait until that civil war happens. Then, then Canadian money, it'll be the the currency of the future, not bottle caps. Which, by the way, okay, I got to talk about this. Um, so if you if you know anything about me other than Elite Dangerous, there's one other game franchise which is near and dear to my heart, um, the Fallout franchise. I absolutely love. All the Fallout games. Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4. That's all that exists. There's no other Fallout games. Yeah. None with numbers. There's no Fallout 76 and Brotherhood of Steel. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Wipe, yeah, wipe out. Because yeah. those are two crappy games. But the, the Fallout franchise is my favorite. I love post-apocalyptic genre. I love A Boy and His Dog. I love Mad Max and all this stuff. And recently yeah. Amazon Prime put out the Fallout show. And... Thankfully, they just dropped the whole season. So I've seen the whole thing because I could not stop watching it. And my expectations were incredibly high for it. This is a series that, like, I was very tentative coming in because I'm like, there's nothing I like better than Fallout. Um, yeah, yeah. Other than when the Elite Dangerous movie comes out. Um, and it's amazing. It, it defied my expectation. It is literally, like, one of my favorite TV shows. Walter Goggins should be given an Oscar. It is a career-defining performance by Walter Goggins. His character is so great. The Vault Dweller, I don't know the girl's name, but she's so amazing. Um, she plays like this badassery and naivety. Um, it, it, like, very versatile. Perfect. The yeah, whole wow. cast is great. Cool. The story is great. The humor, they nailed it. And then if you played the games, there's so many little references and Easter eggs that go into it, but none of them are like... Like, in episode one, you see a junk jet. And if yeah. you don't know what a junk jet is, uh, I'm not going to explain it, but it's, well, it just fires yeah. anything, not just bullets, it fires anything. <laughs> um, yeah. That makes an appearance, and it's not a big deal. Like, it's just like, the the, the Easter eggs thing, aren't yeah. like, hey, member berries, you know, kind of, uh, some things can get obnoxious like that. Like, it's all built in, there's a lot of subtle shit in the background at one point. You've, um, Walter Goggins' character also, he's a ghoul, so he exists pre-war. Um, and there's like a movie poster of a movie he was in, A Man and His Dog. And if you're like, if you like, follow it was kind of based loosely off the movie A Boy and His Dog. There's so many little things like that that just show me that this series was full of love, uh, like people who really loved the source material. And I just, I, I couldn't be happier with it. That season was just so amazing. It's all on Prime. I highly recommend it. Um, get your popcorn out. It's just, it just made me so happy. Like I want to watch it again soon. Um, loved it. And then, like, I watched... Yeah, uh, I saw you put it in the Discord. Like, Fallout was a thing. I was like, you talk about the game still? And I, started, I didn't know you talk about the series. I was like, just a random, like, moment where you were saying, I really like Fallout. I was going to say, like, like the, the series... This, oh, well, I do. I, I mean, like, oh, I, I've been known to randomly... Oh, amazed, because, like I say, usually those things, they don't stand up to your expectations at all. So, I don't have to watch that. Sounds it, cool, man. It exceeded my expectations. Fallout. Like, I can't yeah. hype it enough. It was just, just pure goodness. And it, it fit follow so well. The music choices were amazing. The the yeah. humor, the tone, the the goofy humor. Even like they have like an incest joke in there. Like what's it on? No. Huh? What's what show? What channel is it on? It's on uh, Amazon Prime. Okay, cool. That's fine. And it's just I I am spellbound by it. I'm like hats off to uh, what's the guy directed it? Uh, Jonathan Nolan or whatever. Like yeah. obviously what's, like what's, they did their homework. And I am just, like, I am so happy that they did that because, like, I have waited for Fallout to be turned into a movie or a show, and I was so, when I heard it announced, I avoided the trailers for a long time because I'm like, there's no yeah, way that yeah. I'm going to, that they're going to make it. They're going to do, like, because it's Bethesda now and it's big and popular, it's going to be like a watered-down version. It's not. The gore in it nope. is incredible. Um, yeah, yeah. There's some twisted fucking shit, which is very <laughs> Fallout. <laughs> Um, Thanks, man. And the sense of humor. Uh, it's just so good. It's so good. I love it. I love it. It's so good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and it's and it's it's well done. It's well done. Um, 
they they obviously like really um, cared about it. That just makes me yeah, so happy. All right, uh, so we were in Telltale Pavona. So early colonies. <laughs> <laughs> back to back to the early. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, I think this is Number like the second UK, weekend. Right. Oh, good, good, good. Jonathan Nolan is a huge fan. He's played all the games. Good. Well, I can tell. And it's like it's like, but it's not just like the Bethesda games. Like it also kind of like as homages that go back to the early games. Like it just, it feel, and like setting wise, it happens after. And all I'll say is like, like at one point they go to Shady Sands. Yeah. And Shady Sands was in the first game, like the fledgling NCR, you meet Tandy there, who later becomes the president of the NCR, although she can be your companion for a bit. You have to save her from raiders. And then in Fallout 2, you, you, um, I actually don't know if you go to Shady Sands in Fallout 2. I think it's just called NCR. It used to be Shady Sands, and now it's like NCR's capital. And then, right. like you know, it's referenced in New Vegas and all that stuff. So it's like, it's Shady Sands is like part of the Fallout lore, and it's like, yeah, the characters like are like, let's go to Shady Sands, and my fanboy goes, hee hee. and it's all set like yeah. long after the Fallout games. Like I think it's like in continuity. Like um, I think Fallout seventy six, which does exist, is like the earliest entry. It's almost like a prequel in a sense. Uh, oh, but there, right. but there are like um, Fallout One is like uh, two hundred years before Fallout Two, and then Fallout Three is around the same time as Fallout Two, but on the other side of the country. And then I think New Vegas oh. and Fallout Four also are very um, similar in the time frame. Like they, they happen around the same time, but I get East Coast, West yeah, yeah. Coast, right? And this is all West Coast, which is again for Fallout. I prefer the West Coast stuff because I like the deserts and the kind of Western. Themes yeah, yeah, yeah. and references that comes with it, like to me, like when you have um, this post-apocalyptic shit happening in the wasteland, and it's like you get like the cowboy hats and the spurs and the horses, you know. Well, maybe not horses, but yeah. uh, the bombs. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I can't speak enough for it. I just, I, I must encourage everyone check out. Fallout Even just looking me. at the the, the trailer, the colors are all like the it has the feel of the game, which I think is really cool. Oh yeah. yeah a certain feel thing. I only played four, but I loved it because it had that sort of yeah. I mean, even even that's really cool, the man. costume design, like the power armor, looks fantastic yeah, yeah. and realistic. Yeah. The fucking vault suits look so good, and like right. and then like in, everyone in the vault all has like you know they've got like scarves and sweaters, but they're all like blue and yellow, and all is like very on brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And cool, and man. and yeah. and and uh, Walter Goggins again, like his character, just like I can't speak enough for how much I love his character. Um, right. but it, is, it is like his character is the atypical follow like and it's interesting I thought it was a little on the nose like even in the second episode um, one character says to the the, the the vault dweller or whatever says to her like you know like like the longer you're out in the wasteland the wasteland will change you that seems very much like the theme of the show is like you yeah. know yeah you're from this naive little vault that everything's hunky dory in fact one thing I love about the vault dweller she never really swears like her, her catchphrases right. are things like okie dokie um, right. or like yeah, yeah. oh shoot oh shucks you know like she's very 1950s right. um, 50s like family leave, entertainment leave it to style. Beaver. Yeah. yeah like literally yeah, yeah. she gets out of the vault and then like squints and then goes okie dokie and it's like and she says okie dokie a bunch of times and it's so fucking endearing like the actress yeah. that they picked I don't know what she, else she's from she's easy on the eyes very nice to look at but like her yeah. acting and facial expressions are just so bang on it was just oh oh you oh, just thank oh, you oh. thank you for not <laughs> fucking up fallout <laughs> oh god yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone just <laughs> okay now back to this shit um even the sound effects in the pit boy and in the pit boy you can see like the little inventory and status and data oh, really? little menus oh, like man, it's just like the attention to detail oh, is good. so good but then you start to think well how does the inventory work like when you pick up something do you have to log in your pit boy does your pit boy know you have in your pocket yeah, yeah there's actually a she's from the uk well bang on the freaking um there's one little thing where like the brotherhood uh knights or whatever they all have these squires and the squires are basically the guys that like go around with them and carry this giant oversized backpack and i can't help but think that that might be some sort of like um like they don't it's not like reference in the show but it might be some sort of reference to the fact that like to carry all the shit that you have you'd have to have a fucking giant <laughs> Backpack. Yeah, I know. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Got seventy-five like oh, can on and ever. But oh, it's, it's cool. just a great cast, great direction, costume design, tone, music. Everything just works. It's like it is a work of love, 
and that is so rare to see, like, in, especially in video game franchises. Like, like I, I, I think of, and I dare not say it, and I, I gotta talk about this, the Halo show. Do you uh, watch any of the Halo show? No, I don't know. Do you care about Halo? Not really, no. I don't give a shit. I liked <laughs> yeah, Halo. Yeah. Halo 1 was fun. Halo 2 was, was right fun. fun. But it was, yeah. I kind of dropped oh, off God. after that. I don't care about the story too much, but like, the story in the first couple of games, it was good. And this yeah. fucking TV show comes out, and it <laughs> is absolute trash. It is, yeah. just, it is like, it is like some like two year old. Oh, she's in Yellow Jackets. I never finished watching Yellow Jackets. I only watched the first couple episodes. I'll have to watch that though. Mm. But I love the actress in, in Fallout. But yeah, Halo was just an absolute unmitigated disaster of terribleness. That like again, it's like I, I think when Fallout was being announced, like Halo was just coming out, and I think a lot of my trepidation, a lot of my um reservations came from watching that yeah, absolute yeah, yeah. disaster show like master chief takes his helmet off in like the first episode and he's just some guy who looks like the punisher and it's like, yeah, it's like no yeah, no yeah. no like, yeah, yeah, do, yeah. Do, do you Keep even yeah. do, you, do, you, do you even play the games and then like you're seeing yeah. stuff from the games but it's all like member berries you know kind of stuff yeah, it's or yeah, it, yeah. It, it's like oh yeah we'll give cortana a body and then the sort of love interesters i don't know where it went with it yeah. um it just, it just, it was just horrible. And so I remember seeing that and just having that fear for Fallout. And I'm like, oh my God. But you can tell that with Fallout, people that love the source material got together and said, okay, let's make something interesting and we'll do something that's different and new. But um, at the same token, we'll make it represent the tone of the series and like mm. consistently throughout the series. Because like, Bethesda, I think, did a great job with Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 at maintaining some of those tones. Obviously changed it. Like, to me, New Vegas is my my perfect Fallout because it has yeah. the most um, player agency. Like, there's so many different things that you can do in New Vegas that you can complete the story. You don't go from A to B in, in Vegas. Maybe the first bit you do, but there's so many different um, factions, and, and it's all interesting how it comes together. Whereas in the Bethesda yeah. games, it's a little more on... Like, I would say, okay. Fallout 3 is very much like you can just beeline the plot and you'll miss 90% of the game, right? Right. Um, and all the stuff in Fallout 3 that I love is not the main plot. It's all the side stuff that you just kind of yeah. encounter. Like, you find, like, two guys that... Ah! What the hell? What? Holy shit, I'm sorry. Um, uh, stream, Streamlabs thing. Cripsy77 just subscribed. Well, thank you, Cripsy. What? I forgot, I forget <laughs> that. I, so I got the Streamlabs... <laughs> thing and it, I keep forgetting it's there. I thought like a snake like a or a scorpion attacked you. Right? Just, yeah, yeah. It's just, it makes a very loud ow, 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 ow. Stop bumping me. Or, well, you can bump me on her. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, Halo series, crap. Fallout series beyond excellent. Um, and... Oh, I just heard this thing on the stream. Yeah, here. yeah. It's loud. <laughs> so, it's <laughs> loud. Well, thank, well, thank yeah. you for subscribing. Um, I think they have so many practical effects. Yeah, the, 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 like, the show also feels very... Like, again, it doesn't feel like over special yeah. effects. There's no stupid sky lasers. Obviously, there's special effects in it, vertebrates. I'm sure it's some of the power armor stuff. There's some great combat yeah. sequences. Oh, my God. But it's like, it really just... Oh, I can't say enough how much I love it. I want them to make yeah, a cool. million seasons that's of my, it. That's my day tomorrow. I think I'm watching all day. Yeah. Oh, oh. There's another tourist one they called Accidental Extinction. Yes, I want to go to them both. The hotel in Fallout 3, were you talking about like the place, uh, the tower where the guy wants you to nuke Megaton and it's like filled with ghouls? Because I can't remember the, the name of it. Tenpenny Tower, Tenpenny Tower. Um, Cause that was one of, that was again, one of the greatest parts of Fallout 3 is like, okay, yeah, I can nuke Megaton and watch the nuclear explosion from Tenpenny Tower. Or I can say, Hi. screw that, I'm gonna disable the bomb and then I'm gonna teach these Tenpenny uh, people a lesson by murdering them all. Or what I can do is I can let all the feral ghouls loose, and then the feral ghouls will kill everyone in Tenpenny Tower, and then it'll be a ghoul-infested tower. Like right, again, yeah, just yeah. like those little agents, little things that you could do. Yeah. Uh, oh my God, I love the ball cool. games. Um, all right, so tourist spot 0168. I think this is the second one. Um, other colonies were soon followed after Delta Pavonis, Beta Hydra, and Altair were all explored and settled between 2190 and 2230, which is a long time ago, or well, in the future. Yeah, a long. 
a long time ago in a future far away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and an uncontrolled explo expansion followed, an explosion, uh, with corporations and all sorts of groups of private individuals heading off into the stars. There was a Wild West gold rush atmosphere to it all, as news to the vast tracts of land, vast, huge tracts of land. <laughs> Just think of that Monty Python. What about? Yes. Yeah. Like, her. She's got huge tracts of land. Uh, <laughs> and heroic acts filtered back to Earth with the romance of the process causing many to want to leave the mother planet. So this is obviously like an early colony place. Oh, there's a planet called Gold. Another one. There's so many duplicate planets here. Mm. So there's also accidental extinction. What? Yeah, I'm there. It's another one. Um, wait, wait, hold on. News of vast tracts of huge wealth, giant dinosaur-like beasts. Yeah, that's what I was reading. What? One. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, so what? Dinosaur-like beasts? You just got offered an onslaught contract for 19 million credits? Oh my lordy. Wow. So I guess Tell the Bonus was like an early world. This is one of the old worlds, right? One. That, mission to that mission to find the manservant was hilarious. 10 out of 10 accent work. And, but even like, what about games? How you doing, man? Uh, even um, Fallout 4 had some great stuff. Like, I love the... Or no, no, sorry, it's New Vegas. <laughs> Never mind. Um, the New Vegas plotline about um, the one casino where they're eating people. And there's so many different ways you can expose it. You can join them. Um, there's there's like a murder mystery there that you have to kind of solve. And there's like like someone got kidnapped kind of thing. And like, there's so many different ways you can do it. Um, mm. You can let the guy out. You can have him be eaten and... All sorts of different um, stuff that you can do. I love, I love Fallout. I could talk about Fallout forever. <laughs> okay, so cool. accidental extinction. I just got pirated there, so watch out. Oh, I've got loads of power converters on me. It's fine. I've, I'm carrying a coward on board, so. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. So. Peep -peeps. <clears throat> so, in 2182, fragile indigenous life, still at an early stage of its evolution, was discovered in the Delta Pavonis system. And though through a bacteriological accident, completely wiped out in the same year. When further alien ecologies were discovered in the Beta Hydra and Altair systems, and with the failure to, of the project to terraform Mars, it looked like humanity would bring the cosmos to its knees, much as it had managed to do with its own planet. So yeah, apparently there was a native indigenous species early in their evolution, and we wiped them out with smallpox. Nice. Again, it's like probably not the first one, too. Yeah. Reagan's legacy. And then there's a planet called Gold, which you can land on. Gold? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why I know the name of this place. It's one of the earlier expansion planets, wasn't it, I think? But yeah, just, okay. we have no Delta Pavonis. I'm trying to see. The Camp Meadowland. Well, it's close to Midderland Hollow, but there's actually a planet called Camp Midderland. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, Delta Pavonis well. feels like a very important system in the lore, I guess, right? It does yeah. reference a couple... Uh, Beta Hydri and Altair. Yeah, yeah. Altair, I think, was the, the one in the in the Empire where they were, like, mud crabs or something like that. Like, some, some weird... But they were, like, animals that, like, obviously had an intelligence. And then, of course, the, the Imperials just wiped them out. And then that caused the feds to be like, well, no, you, we got to stop wiping out these uh, alien species. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we want to eat them or whatever. And then the Empire was like, no, fuck you, we're succeeding. And that, I think, started the initial conflict between the, oh, right. the feds and the, and the whatnot. I'm kind of interested to check out, just really quickly, go to Beta Hydri, because that is mentioned yeah, here yeah. In, the, in the thing. that There was further alien ecologies were discovered in Beta Hydra and Altair. Let's see how far, how far is... Altair. Beta Hydri is only nine away. Yeah, like you can find in your. Oh, and Altair is actually. Yeah, they're both really close. Yeah. Okay. I kind of want to visit them both and just learn about. Yeah, life. totally. Because yeah. th this could this could again this could tie into the mystery. We could do a mystery on. Um, uh, well, the, 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 the case of the of the the case of the ex uh, extinction level yeah. event. Who someone's like say is a. Uh, yeah, think of something revenge. <laughs> right? Maybe maybe a mud crab survived, and now that yeah, yeah now they're now they're like humanity took out our species, but I have bided my time. What did I do? Oh, wingman navlock. Mm. 
it's when you win ma when you when you're looking to get a cool shot of coming over the uh, horizon and your wing mad yeah, navlog pulls you right back in. Yeah. Nineteen million that's credits though for a random mission, that's pretty damn good. That's pretty good. Ooh, let's see what Super Cruise boost looks like in uh, camera mode. <laughs> Is that gonna work? Oh, maybe not because I don't have it. Yeah, hold on. You turn it on. You should be able to just do it, shouldn't you? I it's might need on. to set up a second binding because, like, for camera mode, I've got um, my tab key set to like the doohickey. Oh, I see. Yeah. Let's see your mode switches. What would what would this be under? Or no, I guess just like whatever my boost is, right? Yeah. Hold on. So just check just check in your um, camera key button, I suppose. Oh my! Uh, 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 flight thrust? No, flight thrust. Where is boost? Again, once you turn the boost on, you let go of it. It's just, it's just going until you press it again. Well, because uh, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Engine boost. Okay, page down. I have it here. Page yeah, you down, don't have to. Turn, so. You don't have to hold it though. You just I, turn it on. I usually have like an alternate. Uh, so basically, like if you bind a camera control thing to something. Um, yeah. Then you, then you, you really can't. Um, can't yeah. yeah but yeah, let's let's much. let's. See. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Let's see here. Okay. Page down. Oh, here we go. Okay, we are in. Oh yeah, it works. You can do. Ca oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. So that could be really interesting for some. Uh, photography purposes. Because, yeah, it works in camera mode. I like. Wait for stream to catch up. <laughs> It'll just be like a couple of seconds, yeah. Four, oh, yeah, yeah. Three, Move around loads, two, isn't it? One, that was cool. Wow. That's cool with the planet. That was cool. Fast. <laughs> my top class too much. Just get out here. Okay, I want to check out this Beta Hydrae and then Altair and then. We'll take this guy to his last destination. I'll probably call it a night at that point. Okay, so Beta Hydra. Let's see here. We got uh, ooh, logistical nightmare. And are there any other icons? Oh yeah, gas vents. And in Nitu's assassination. Let's think anything about. Um, Uh, extinct alien species, but maybe logistical nightmare is what we have to find. Let's check that first. And actually, this is a good time for a super cruise assist. Here we go, line with target destination. Thank you very much. Get VRB one second. Well, I've gone from the L town one, so you can hope it's it that quick. Okay. Ooh. I got my I got my tonkatsu. Nice, man. It's gonna be a nice little dinner. It's a nice like it's like it's not too much food because I don't want to. I'm going out tonight. Yeah, yeah. Drinking and stuff, so I don't want to like, um, you know, when you got too much food in your belly or not enough. Yeah, you just sort of like, uh, you just, yeah. Can't, we'll you can't have fun then. <laughs> exactly. He's gonna eat the just the Goldilocks amount, where it's like yeah, I'm not gonna good. be hungry uh, or feel uh, like my stomach's eating itself, but also uh, I'm not gonna be. Uh, oh wait, no, don't, don't enter orbit. What are you doing, Super Crew? Oh, is logistical nightmare on the surface? What? What? Oh. Hey, uh, okay, really? this beacon is like really in a weird spot. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah, I think it's. Oh no! no stop! Stop! Super cruise! Stup Super cruise! Stop it! <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Yeah, I don't want to enter orbit. Yeah, apparently this beacon is like on the surface for some reason. Mm. Now these usually, this is gonna probably scare the crap out of me because once you get to a certain pre-audio location, they got messed up. Yeah, maybe it's in the planet. 
Uh, it may let me drop to it when I get within a certain range, although it's actually, yeah, usually by now, um, it would let me drop. Yeah, wow, that's, that's very that's low. That's a very <laughs> choppy little mountain range. Uh, hold on, wait. The, I'm that, 40 kilometers off the surface. Okay, logistical nightmare. Yeah, so it appears to be on a mountain. On the the logistical yeah. nightmare is getting to this beacon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Thankfully, with this new booster, I can just, like, boost off this planet. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So I, I did want to test that, because that seems like the best use of it. Because sometimes it takes, like, five minutes to get off a damn planet, right? Yeah, you're like, come on. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like, oh, my next jump is, like, on the other side of the planet. Great, I have to get off the planet, then go all the way around it. Okay, yeah, there is a beacon down here. Oh, wow. Why? I suppose we'll find out. This doesn't look like the kind of planet that had aliens life on it. Okay, so let's read it. Uh, Tourist spot 0177. In the fall of 2323, the fleet journeyed from its staging area at Beta Hydrae towards the Achenar system over a period of several weeks. The systems between Achenar and Beta Hydrae were largely unexplored at the time, with only a few embryonic colonies at the beginning of the journey, incapable of supplying the Federal fleet other than by scooping fuel. This caused Admiral Morgan considerable logistical difficulties and forced him to move only as fast as the slowest ship, with many turning back. The fleet eventually arrived in the Achenar system at the start of 2324. Morgan had anticipated resistance and judged, judging his supplies of fuel, he elected to confront the enemy in one decisive battle on the edge of the system. He didn't have a great deal of choice. Smuggled intelligence allowed the defending forces to anticipate the arrival position, and the defenders were expecting a fight. What they hadn't predicted was their enemy to use their pack hunting formation against them. Interesting. Yeah. So it's all about the expansion from Sol, isn't it? These sort of stories. And then there's... Yeah. They, there was life then that they killed everyone. Right. Yeah. It's quite, it's just quite interesting stuff, really. That I, I so I feel like... Okay, so I feel like Homeland is an outdoor world. Mm. And that... Like, if there's going to be indigenous life, like, it would be there, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it shouldn't be hard to get there now that I could just go really fast, right? Yeah, right? of course. Yeah. What they used could to be a you problem? drop on tourist beacons at the surface, but now you have to glide down. Well, I'm glad, because the last time I did that, I, like, hit the, the J button or whatever, and just ended up, like, yeah. on the surface of the planet. It was absolutely insane. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see how long it takes to get to Homeland. I'm already shutting it off. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Yeah. That's cool! Oh it's my god, like yeah! That's way faster. Away. It's like, that's, really it's good. it's still way faster. Like, this is cool. Yeah. If you're doing, like, little uh, passenger missions, too, I think this this jump drive is great for passengers. I just want to see yeah, if maybe, all, maybe there's a hidden beacon. All those, like, scan the mega ship stuff, sometimes they're, like, 25,000 that you could, you could do, do. You could do, like, five of them so quick now. Brilliant. Right? Yeah, we expand. We could expand easy. Whoa. But you have to really learn how little you need to do it. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of, it's like an art. So, Which I figured be. maybe, it's like, cool, it? you would think if, like, there was stuff on Homeland, there would be a thing here, but I'm not seeing yeah. any, like, I'm unregistered comms or anything. Like, sometimes, you know, you have to get close to places and then things will appear. There is a mega ship. I'll just go take a look while I'm here. This passenger's like, um, I'm not paying for all these extra destinations, I hope you know. Like, no, you just... <laughs> yeah. Buddy, Johnny, you're just along for the ride. Okay, dropping on this Demeter class cropper. Who knows, maybe there'll be logs. Usually it's just the flight logs, it's nothing super fun. Yeah, you never know. But you never know. You never know. Sometimes I mention, oh yeah, I'm just a little, little thing, but sometimes they have a little bit of flavor. That thing, stuff's so hidden away. This whole expansion from Sol is quite an interesting story. But right. You have to kind of make yourself follow it, sort of thing. You think they could have almost like little threaded, like you could click on something and it shows you like a, a link of where you can go and jump the whole story. That'd be quite cool. Well, it's like, even like we're finding um, these like, uh, hold on, ship log uplink. Probably just going to be his. What's the? How many? Where are you going? Where are you going, ship? This one has all the domes. I like these ones with the domes, the agricultural ones. Oh yeah, yeah. So how long have you got to wait until your 
Uh, well, how long, how long till that gets approved by the? Uh, well, I haven't. The, uh, the like, I, I've been in contact with them. Like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get approved because, like, I reached out to the creators because I had a little bit of an issue with the preview. I was like, the preview wasn't working for me. Right. And it turned out there was some code that I helped them find an error in. Ah, look at this beta hydrate, beta hydrate, beta hydrate, Malaki, Malaki. So this guy just jumps around in the same system, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I think that they seem to really like it. They seem they really like the the mystery. They're they're excited about it. Um, I'm sure it won't take that long. Um, I want to do a trailer for it. I'm gonna skip the gas fence because I know there's gonna be gas fence. But there is another beacon. And you need to use assassination. Okay, and that's far enough away. I need to use this. Use this super cruise on. Uh, there's a, uh, a beacon at the last planet or whatever. But yeah, so um, I think like it probably it's probably gonna take like once I click the validate or whatever, they'll probably go in. That's where I, I assume they do some work on the translations, on maybe some of the general formatting. I don't know if, what their process is, but um, like they've already seen it, so it, it like I assume if it was gonna get rejected for for anything, they would have mentioned it already. So yeah, yeah. It won't be long. I mean, my hope is that I can get the. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I love this drive. I love it. Um, like I already overshoot things anyway, but overshooting in this way is actually fun. Um, yeah, really. But yeah, I don't imagine it would take super long. Like obviously, like um, I, the big thing is going to be like before I can click that sort of like submit for approval button. Um, mm. I need to get a trailer done. So. That will take a little bit. Um, like, I'm hoping that... Okay, so like tonight I'm going out. There's a little party thing happening. Um, and then tomorrow, depending on how hungover I am, my, my goal will be to get that trailer done. <laughs> and like, yeah. I, it's only 60 seconds. A lot, it'll have some text. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, like, it's not going to be super complex. Cool, man. You know. And then uh, I'll get that there, get that it's, to them. It should be quick, but you know, some days like, oh, no, it's yeah. just... Uh, Forever. I mean, yeah. unofficially, I would say expect it like probably this week at some point. Yeah, yeah. like it'll come but out. Then the pressure will come, and you go, I can't do it now. I don't want to do it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to do another well, one, and it's gonna have to be even better because you know yeah. you're only as good as your last adventure. Yeah, it will though. I think, like I say, you start stretching your legs. Well, now I kind of know what I'm doing, and so like with this yeah. one, it was like um, uh, the largest part actually for me was just like the the sort of. Coding it, like I wrote it in two or three hours, and obviously like a lot of tweaks. And every time I went back to do something, I put put something new in or, or change some something. Um, yeah, but yeah. I, like the writing part wasn't hard. Like literally, it wrote it wrote itself kind of thing. Um, I think it it was then just like going into the actual website and formatting everything for the website was was very time consuming. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also very fun. Ooh. Yeah, cool, man. So this to response is in 3 3251, the publication of The Thargoids, Truth and Fiction, by Dr. Joreb Initu of the Alien Studies Department of the Gandhi Institute based in Wicca's World, which is apparently Alioth in Alioth. Uh, in right. flame, and which by the way, Wiccan's World was famous in the original game. You had to do the Wiccan Ware race. And oh, yeah, this yeah, is this yeah. is tied into this this plot where um, I think you had to use um, like, you, basically, you have to pick up something and then get to this place. And if you used your dream drive or whatever, I think you actually, um, it, it screwed it up. Like, you had to do it without the dream drive or something. Um, or maybe, maybe it's the other way around. But I know, like, it was, like, one of those things where it was very hard to do. Uh, but you had to deliver the tapes of a band called Jajagged Banner. Right, cool. Um, anyway. <laughs> I remember that that, cause that <laughs> reference came up in Radio 7. I, I insisted on putting yeah, that yeah. in because it was like from lore. Um, anyway, uh, inflamed tensions between the Alliance and other political powers. He was ambushed and assassinated while leaving the Beta Hydra system after a scientific con uh, conference. So this guy was like the Jeff Goldblum in Independence Day kind of character. He was telling us about Thargoids. What, like, in what year was this? 3251. So like a hundred years ago, this guy mm. knew about the Thargoids and we should have listened. We didn't listen. Yeah. And he paid the price. Dun -dun. But he gets a beacon, so that's kind of cool. Okay, what was the other one? Altair? Witch's Reach yeah. permit required. Do I, have, I don't have the permit for Witch's Reach. Well, there's, I need to start doing some permit, um, mm. permit hunting. 
Because I was th even thinking things like all those inner bases, if you're a new player, you'd never ever know they exist, sort of thing. And there's that weird prison one as well, isn't there? It's like you could we could make a like a, a news report or a conspiracy theorist who's talking about stuff and then disappears, and then you have to go and find out what you're talking about. That could tie it into Kit Fowler as well, because apparently he run, Kit Fowler is one of the engineers who yeah. runs a conspiracy broadcast or yeah, whatever, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. So it could, it could involve Kit Fowler and then the inner bases, and there's lots of stuff there. There's loads of oh, old scan. Yeah. yeah. So there's things you could add in there and stuff. Cool. Do it all like a... Um, <coughs> I would love like to do something where it's like, it's like, go to the... Like, you have to go to that prison base... And then active, yeah. activate the device to download the data, but that's what summons the Thargoid. So then your ship can yeah, be destroyed, yeah, yeah. right? Like, yeah, totally. Man. Ooh, okay. Yeah, and, but, and, then you could, ooh. but you could almost be like the, the guy who left the trail. It's almost like it's going to be like a, a like a live streamer who's left loads of like streams of him in like a you know in um yeah in Batman, like, with the Riddlers doing loads yeah. of crazy sort of conspiracy theory streams. That would be quite cool. They have little short snippets of stuff and. I had like one thought where I was like, I should do a mystery where it's like they have to meet Spatula in game, and I'll just uh, just have sit in a leaf twenty four seven for the rest of the time in the same system, just waiting for people to come meet me. You have to buy, you have to leave your carrier somewhere, couldn't you? So your carrier could. Or it could be like D DM Spatula on uh, Discord or something. Yeah, but that's why we need. Oh, if we need visitor books on our carriers, then you can. You could put stuff in the vista, but for people who come, you know, you could. Uh, not. Or if I could just like it. program like a chat GPT, kind of like like be like, yeah, okay, yeah. chat GPT, I need you to write a code where you are going to impersonate me, and you're Ooh. always going to be. I'm going to buy you an Elite Dangerous account. I'll I'll yeah, grind you yeah, up yeah. to at least a Cobra, and then like like you sit in this system, and just basically if you ever die and rebuy, blah blah blah. If you're Bank balance ever drops below we buy. Well, man, that'd be the best use of like hacking, wouldn't it? I, I, I would probably get banned. Yes, yeah, just, just violation of the just, ELO. Just have a character that people have to find and either kill or whatever. That'd just be a really great use of a, of a, a hacked. But like you were mentioning the Salome thing in our DMs, and I was like, yeah, like yeah. that was like like that was such an ambitious, cool um, yeah, thing man. that like uh, yeah. Drew Wagar and all them put together. Yeah. Okay, so there's only one beacon here. So that's interesting. Look, so where would life be? It would be on an Earth-like world, and there is an Earth-like world here. Bigs yeah. Colony. It's an outdoor world with human breathable atmosphere and indigenous life. So did we... Did we uh, so very high humidity... Oh, this has a, a description. Very high humidity and native life makes this an interesting place to visit. Many exotic foodstuffs are grown here. The scenery is strikingly beautiful, though the wildlife can be a little dangerous. It was also known as Alpha Aquilae in the ancient times. Oh, so that must right. be like in the original elite. Yeah. Well, there's one beacon here. I'll visit that first. Ooh, we go on fast, baby. Oh, oh <laughs> I love it. Okay, so if you kind of like use the seven second roll, you can still kind of slow down ish. Okay, and then obviously use gravity to finish the job. Feed all your videos to Google Gemini and set up the chat with these data. Right? What's Google Gemini? Is that an AI? Yeah. You, you, you're far more um, knowledgeable in such subjects. Because I, I, I'm like an AI... Um, like, I mean, look, I heard Rosso, Marcos Basilisk, so I just want to say for the record, I support and welcome our new AI overlords. Please don't, you know, uh, <laughs> digitally resurrect me in the year 30,000 and, and torture me for eternity. Uh, because I didn't help you come into existence, but I, I am kind of a luddite when it comes to AIs. Like I actually used an AI. I used an AI image generator in my mystery. I did. That's the yeah. first, like the first. Well, maybe not the first time, but like first time I ever practically used one. Yeah, to do something. With it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I'll like use that one to take a, uh, you know, take an elite picture and then make it speak. And that was that's pretty good actually. It's quite easy. Okay, I'm coming in on new agreements here. New agreements. Here and this go. is above Big's Colony, which, again, is where like like the native life is. Though I guess we won't get to see it because you can't land on Earth, likes. Yeah. Maybe the beacon will tell me a story. It sounds political. New agreement sounds like it's going to be a diplomacy beacon. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. 
tourist bot 0172. The renewed sense of purpose. This this strategy. What strategy? This strategy th again. Like I feel like I missed 0171. <laughs> Uh, this renewed sense of purpose this strategy brought to the planet extended outwards to the interstellar colonies. Agreements were reached with Beta Hydra and Al Altair. In exchange for further self-determination, each system agreed to maintain and preserve the natural habitats of indigenous life in their star systems. Shortly after this, Delta Bavonis also joined the agreement to act with restraint should any further life be discovered in the system. Because they blew it up. Yeah. So there's like a whole little thing here in the old world. It's like, because we're very close to Sol. Right? So these would have been, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. early... And, I mean, if you think about it, like, we are 16 light years away from Sol, and we found, what, like, this this planet had life, and then this one's 20... Delta Bonus is 22 light years away from here, so probably around, like, 20 from Sol, too. That's a lot of indigenous life. That's crazy, yeah. Oh, God, I just see where this guy wants to go. Oh, my God. Uh, do you want to go? Okay, it's 10 way. jumps. That's okay. 10... 10 jumps down to Gleesey 105.2, which I do want to. I do want to know what the hell is there. Okay, I'm gonna start going there because this catch is gonna get cold by the time I get. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, no if only, the, if only you had a hyper. Next, okay, now we want which space boosters. Yeah. Thank you for the super cruise boosters, Frontier. What's next? Which space boosters? Oh Don't man. Get we are going to Gleesey 102.9 or something like that. 105.1 was it? <laughs> oh, there are point one. You're five point two, eight point one. Uh, well, yeah. 105.2. I think that's the one. Yeah. Let's see here. It says 105.2. Yeah, that's the only one that appears. Gleesey yes. FM. Two hundred away. Playing the latest and greatest of space country classics. <laughs> Here we are. What's more sponsors? Warning. <laughs> I feel like the, the, I feel like the, if oh, what, what, okay. What would you say like if you were a space country western band? Oh yeah. shit! I accidentally clicked boost out of habit. <laughs> uh, so you're a space country western band and you're touring the bubble. What ship are you flying? Like what's the what's the country western ship? Would it be a Killback? Killback? I mean, Type 9's a big old, you know, cow, space cow, isn't it? But, okay, um, yeah, yeah. Maybe a like Killback, yeah, buffalo. yeah. Yeah, a Killback, but you would never have repainted the paint, so the paint would be worn off. Killback is kind of country western. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. An old dirty Killback. I don't know why it's country western to me. Yeah. Maybe it's just like, like those little movie things on the side, little appendages. I don't yeah. know why they give me a country western for you, but that's just, yeah, that's just okay. how I'm vibing right now. They wouldn't be in a Mamba, that would be more like Glam Rock or like... Yeah, yeah. More like if you're Space Wham or something. <laughs> space Wham. Well, let me just see, we're, we're in some random system here. The systems that have white dwarfs always have like a lot of really cool stuff in them. There's a visitor beacon. Eh. Frost Tourist Lodge, Tsubata's Forever. It's like a very nice tourism system. Lots of tourism Electrona. places. Electrona. Sounds cool. Dembele Spa. Oh, there's a system named Rod. Another permit. Like Mingfu. Okay, I really need to start just doing... That's what I want to do yeah. soon, is I want to do permit quest and just start unlocking those damn permits, right? You got to find, like, the faction in the nearby system, rank up with them, get their permit things. Like, right now, I've got... Let's see here. Where's my permits? I got, like, one page of permits. I'm not gonna yeah, yeah. But the only like, I need to have all the permits. I would like that. I'm <laughs> the completionist in me. Does not it's like screaming out. Is it? I do not like being told you cannot go to this system because you don't have a permit. Yeah. The only I think there are, there are there are pieces. The what? Where do you see your permits? Well, when you go in your oh, left nav panel, if you're near a permit lock system, like if you scroll down, right. you're gonna see like some weird color. It's like oh yeah yeah. yeah. Oh. Like we just we did, that's just the second one that we've come across. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there there are a lot of permit lock systems in the core. Most of them are accessible. I think there are two, for sure, permits that we, we know we can't get the Polaris system because there's no faction to give you the permit, or so they say. Um, and then there is, I believe, the mysterious LFT like five two six or something like that, um, which was like for the longest time sort of um, people were suspecting that that was the dark wheel. The oh, location of the of the real dark wheel, not yeah. the fake one in Shimano right. Desra. 
Um, right. But like the real dark wheel was apparently in LFT 526, and so turning the wheel, the big um, uh, initiative that Commander Exegius and yeah, folks yeah. Were, were doing, um, the whole impetus behind that was to treat uh, do the BGS work for the dark wheel faction, yeah. pull it out of Shinrata Desra and bring it to Lave and Soul and in the the LFT 526 area with the yeah. uh, sort of contrite that maybe if that faction is nearby they will start issuing the permit there's one one pla oh yes okay there's also yes ne um, I think it's Triton the moon of Neptune is permit locked in Seoul and then there's also Lave or is it Lave or Diso I think it's Lave there's there's Lave like 5C that's permit locked and then of course the oh. moon but we know that why that's yeah, permit locked because I explained all that the moon never used to be did it no, the moon is permit lock because that's that's where they test. That's where all the old um, dreams go to die. They have like new SRVs down there and uh, ship. Right, yeah. ship in I remember, ship interiors um, atta oh, yeah. attacked me, uh, un unprovoked. By I might I might add. People, people want ship interiors. I say, yeah. Ooh, nice trinary. Um, like I'm I'm down. I want ship interiors, but they first need to apologize for uh, the unprovoked attack. Oh. <laughs> This is a very beautiful system. The Panther Hunt Clipper down Hunt there, Hunt. yes, absolutely. I didn't see it, but I'm sure it's down there. If you have not watched my um, How I Learned to Stop Permit Locking and Land on the Moon episode, yeah, just go watch that. I recommend it. It's one of my favorites. That and like Overlord of Erevit and the Event Horizon one. Yeah. Um, and then like the Book of the Thargoid series. I like all the time travel 1980s stuff. Yeah. Uh, do I like that I did? I don't know. That's about it, probably. <laughs> the rest of it's crap. Don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's some good, like, random one off episodes. Like, the fucking. Yeah, um, there's just that crazy French page as well. That's bonkers. Well, like what? what? what French? French character. French oh, Lila. Detective Lila. Detective Lila. <laughs> yeah. And you had loads of stuff with um, Nick Turner, was it? Oh, no. Who was it? Someone was playing one. Oh, video. like when I killed Mick Turner's brother, Terry Turner. Oh, right, yeah, I like that stuff. But then, then it led to what's his name, the the engineer dude, um, Bill Turner. Yeah, Bill Turner. Yeah. Yeah, I watched those videos back, and I was like, like the editing is not great. <laughs> like, right. Because like I again, it was like I was doing the stupid animation style. This was before I got the lovely reshade green screens. Um, All right. There was that whole like space court episode. That was like twenty minutes of stupid bullshit. Uh, Microsoft Paint <laughs> animation. So there, there are some good jokes in them. I just like, I wish I could go back and cut them down. Right, yeah, yeah. Simplify them. Yeah. But that's that's what you learn, isn't it? I think doing things over and over, you kind of just cut things. Because you know. it's like, if you watch that whole series, like 45 minutes or 50 minutes, it might be an hour, I don't know. But like, to me, like, in that whole series, there's one good fucking joke. There's one good joke that, like, <laughs> that, like, I think, like, stands out. Where yeah. where I uh uh it's like I get Detective Lala and um, he's and then I take his face and wear his face <laughs> <laughs> and then he show like yeah. he, then he's got no face and he like yeah. sh shows up or whatever at the end <laughs> and don't worry Lala because like I'm like didn't Lala get he got shot with the anti rebuy gun that's right yes but like he's still around I don't know what. Yeah. Oh wait, because then it turned out it was all, it was all, all of that happened within an alpha universe. Oh, okay, right. And when Braben found out about it, he shut down the alpha universe, and then we, and then he wiped our memory. So coming out of that, <laughs> I had no memory and met Lala on a station. He had no memory. Nice, no, right? Your friends. There's a, there's a whole world of Dengus lore that I <laughs> probably have forgotten that ninety percent of it. I still like, there's still like something in my mind that. That shouldn't bother me because it was something I never really like. It was, it was a one-off joke where, and you remember this was like when you you wrote that thong about like they come for spatula. Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. And, and there was the yeah. episode that had that where I get um uh, I'm at the barnacle site, the, the thargoid yeah. comes to suckle upon the teeth of the barnacle. I get sucked yeah. up into the thargoid in my SRV, and then I get deposited in some other system. And there was like. I'm like, it was like, oh yeah, we're sorry about that Thargoid. His name is Chaz. He's kind of a prankster, <laughs> yeah. whatever. And then, and then it's like, and and then I kind of end the episode saying like, oh, like there were like four hours I don't remember. 
And I was always gonna, like, I was always gonna do it aside where, where like, it's some future episode, it would like reference like, don't you remember that? And it would be like, I don't remember. And it's like, and then it would do a quick recap of that episode, and then be like, <laughs> the four hours I didn't remember would be me and Thargoid Chaz going around drinking in the bubble, um, <laughs> and just getting into trouble or whatever. And it's like, yeah, like somehow that just didn't happen. And it's like, I still want to do it, but I'm like, it is like, that is like seven years ago now. No, no, yeah, I yeah. barely remember this. The only reason I remember it is because just still it's, irks it's, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like at, at this point, it's not worth going back. But um, no, yeah. Two, one, engage. It's like it's like it, it, if you do, if you start a creative project, like write a script or something like that, you never get it done. There's something yeah. um, dies inside of you, right? It's like a little ghost that then yeah. you know comes up and it's like remember that movie you wrote. Like, I've got a few yeah. screws. Okay, we are in Gleesey 105.2. Okay, um... It is not a radio station. It is an actual system. There is a visitor beacon near Donati Station. I've never seen, um, a place with point two. No, yeah. Is there a, just a point something? I'll have a look. So Maybe the visitor beacon will explain. Let's get there quickly. <laughs> Here we go! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! That is fun. That is so fun. And that just saved me like five minutes. That is dope. Okay. I love yes, it. There's, there's no, there's not many Galicias near here at all, actually. It's weird. I'm it's very curious. 9084. But yeah, I've, always, I've been meaning to go back and rewatch some of the older episodes too, because like I have forgotten a lot of the continuity, and it's like I do. Like, okay, there's part of me that wants to work on the next Bond one. You only rebuy twice. I already have the outline done, so... Yeah. It's just writing the jokes. Um, but I also want to do some, like, random one-off, you know, space detective stuff, right? And I think yeah, this Elite yeah. Dangerous stuff is really... Um, maybe be able to do that in a way that's new and interesting. Um, and I kind of, like, I want to do a couple of those. Like, like I'll probably do at least three. Um, at least yeah, three. Yeah, there was still, like... Angus investigations that you can do ah, that you can the investigation with you, which is pretty cool. It's so fun, of, uh, whatever you know. It's brilliant. But I like that it's interactive, and it's like I, I can. I'm now making these mysteries for other people to kind of be able to do, right? Don't expect much from this beacon. That's what water rolled with carbon-based water life. Oh, this planet has carbon-based water. What did you say? Don't yeah. Who said that? Don't Me. expect much from this beacon. Oh, did you get yeah. there? Got there, yeah. It's not going to be like a really interesting tale on like space whales. No, tourist spot zero three two six. This like, was added by this commander. It, three lines. It is a very. Like, this is a very a nice planet. planet. Yeah, it's one of those. It really <laughs> <is. Yeah. clears throat> like if you were submitting these things, like like they should have forced people to write interesting descriptions. Well, again, it's before Chat GPT was around, so they couldn't just let AI do it all. Some poor guy is like, oh god, I only got 400. Oh, someone's goats. pirating a tourist here. So let's see, Visitor Beacon. Binary planets are always a popular tourist destination. This one contains life bearing water world. It's one of two habitable planets in the system. <laughs> that's, a, that's a mystery there. <laughs> and now Johnny wants Rosa. to go back. Well, Johnny, Johnny, you didn't. Oh, Fokker Dock. Fokker Dock. Oh, Dock. There's a place called Fokker Dock. Fokker Dock. Fokker Dock. <laughs> Okay, oh, ooh, I had a question, because I was listening to, was it All, All in the Name of Science? It's the one about the gnosis. Oh, yeah. And uh, is one of the lyrics, my fuck a duck something? <laughs> no, I think so. Hold on, um, hold on. No. I have to play a clip yeah, yeah, of this song. To... <laughs> my fuck a duck. Because I'm like, some of the, yeah, I was like like trying to listen to the lyrics, and I'm like, hold on, hold on. Yeah, me, I'm gonna, the cool. audience will be able to hear it. You probably won't. Um, oh, 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 yeah. Coso well, albums. We're about. It's on Radio Seven, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Jefferson Interstellar. Here we go. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Tell me what line it's on. I can look it up. I'm just. I got playing. Hold on. Good people with the goal. Okay. Thirty-first wonder, break that barrier. Not a carrier, just a dream. Hold on. 
jumping down into that sky. <laughs> We're learning again. Space learning. Hold on, hold on. Okay, this is the chorus. I'm just gonna listen to it because I, dude, this song <laughs> is so groovy. Like I just my, it's such a bop. Like my, like my shoulders just start moving right away. Like I love, it. I love it. The space space reggae, whatever. I don't know. Like I, it's still, it is very hard for me to pick a favorite Chicosto song. <laughs> it is very hard. All in the name of science, just it has to be in the top five. Like, mm. like I would say, like my, my I, I, I still Space Taxi. It's one of my favorites. Space Taxi. I love oh, yeah, Space yeah, Taxi. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Jameson, John Jameson. John, like, I like John Jameson. One of the one of those three has to be like the best song. But like, okay, I'm gonna blow you up. Like, mm. igneous cobble, false prophets. Mm. Like this. <laughs> Yeah, like even tune. fucking uh, what was it uh, mining on my own yeah man I like that tune it's a good uh, tune man. yeah there's some good ones in there hold on oh, it's, it's coming up to take a B behind those Thargoid lines take a peek behind those Thargoid lines with 21,000 clamoring souls on board this might be here oh, hold on hold on So did our hearts. Gnosis, Gnosis stricken. stricken. By fuck a duck. By Thargoid Dark Arts. Thargoid Dark Arts! Okay! Okay! <laughs> now that makes sense. Listen! No fucking duck. But just like, like, okay, everyone just listen to this. It's yeah. Thargoid Dark Arts, but like, I kept hearing it as fuck a duck. <laughs> Wait. By so fuck a duck arts. So yeah, so, yeah. Fuck a duck! Fuck a duck arts! <laughs> 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 I swear to God, because I was listening to it and I'm like, that can't, that can't be the, it can't be the fuck, the fuck a duck arts. No, it was the Thargoid dark broke. arts. Yeah, morning broken, so the hearts. <laughs> Gnosis stricken by Thargoid dark arts. <laughs> Friendly fire took lives as Thargoids lost their minds, but we prevailed <laughs> and then held the line. By fuck a duck arts. <laughs> fuck a duck arts. Yeah. Uh, oh, this guy wants to go all the way back to Peen Tash. Oh, that's 11 jumps. I think I'm just going to let him sit. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, hold on. Turgon Sandstone. That was a good tune as well. Turgon Sand? Well, no, everyone. That's what I'm saying. There's I just so many good ones, and it's like they're all legendary, and it's very, like, again, it's like I find myself sometimes shifting and being like, okay, like, I think this is my favorite now. Freaking, um, what is it? <laughs> Touchdown. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great song. What's the other one that Heli sings on? Radio Seven is like Metallic Meteors. Metallic Meteors, one, sing two, and, and three. Yeah, three Metallic Meteors. That, yeah, I'll really let's like jump to together. Oh my God! See, together. That's what I'm saying. Like I, that, that one. Each speck I own. That one. I yes. Remember, I like that. Just about being we're all made of stars, kind of yeah. stuff. Let's, you know, I, what I like it's really nice writing stuff in the law. It's quite hard, but it's good fun. And then I love space, so you know it's great, man. Oh my god! And then look okay, at this is the second album. Purple lasers fill my canopy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. like and hold on, let me let me see because I probably have the, the instrumental. Middle of that song, I love. It all drops down all the piano beats. It's a, it's a good. I've got. I got to try and write a proper pop song for these things. I think. I got okay. Again, it's the... about. It's a that song is about going to a engineer's base in your ass, and then suddenly the purple, purple lasers open up and you get ganked. Right. At, Yes, yeah, that's what it's all about. I'm just playing the instrumental version in the background. Mm. <coughs> so I have those for the, for the stream, and it's like the instrumentals on this just like, mm, like it's got a cool like synth, <laughs> synth feel. Killback, Lavian Brandy, Roof of the Galaxy, Static oh, yeah. between the tracks. See, that was like for the longest time that was my, one of my favorites because it's just it's, like a little sample really plotter. Good. You don't have to do a whole song, it's really good fun, you know? It's like doing 15 seconds is right. brilliant. Having to do like a three and a half minute song is like, oh man. Right. So yeah, it's good fun. I, 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 would, I would think it's harder because like, then you have to come up with like all these little mini bangers, right? Like, but. Okay. Uh, that's what I do, that's what I do that's every what day. That's you do, uh, that, that, that's what I do, that's what I do. That's what I do, I have to write really catchy songs every day with people. Fun, but finishing them off is the hard bit. I'm good right. at writing cat tunes. But then, like, like, yeah, it's oh, it's that's good. But okay, like, I, how, what else do I put in the chorus? This one, um, shipping a yeah. bottle. That song. Oh that's my. That's quite a little heartfelt, lovely song. That one. Yeah, yeah. God. Oh my God. There's so many good ones. 
It's and it, yeah, it's one of those things. But I, I don't know. Yeah, for me, it's always been like, I would say like like um, Space Taxi is always up there. Like I just love the um, the motion in that one and Jameson. Uh, like yeah, Dark, it's hard because like they're so the early ones are all really tongue in cheek and stupid. But then I started getting more into it, and then that like, the Raider Seven felt like a bit more serious. I didn't know if people liked it less or not, but. I really enjoyed them because it sounded it was so in law that I really loved this thing. But right. I just didn't yeah, I didn't never know if people would really dig that album or not sort of thing. That's the thing. But do yeah. people not tell you if if they because like I, I think people dig it. Maybe it's just like not enough people yeah, know I don't about know. it. I, don't I know, mean man. I mean look, this is like I say, it's like every once in a while I got a YouTube comment where it's like uh Man, this is this is fantastic. You should have hundreds of thousands of views and I've got like five hundred, <laughs> you know, and it's like well, I kinda <laughs> I kinda like that because I never wanna be the big the big content creator big that everyone expects yeah, good yeah. stuff from on a regular basis like i kind of prefer it's like <laughs> yeah I, I, like yeah, yeah. I, I want people to find this shit in 10 years and go like man this is really great what the hell why didn't anyone watch it because you know yeah, yeah. it's it's uh it's like a little uh, hidden, hidden gem but i i assume that like like people know about tacoso like your music's uh, permeated a lot of the community right like you uh, uh, galnet yeah, news God. digest and all these different um I just got this lovely guy, science keeper, German guy, just contacted me and asked me to try some, like, he paid me to try some music for him. And it's like, he's like, you're, you're, music, you're kind of part of Elite now. And I was like, that's so nice to hear that, you know, because I just yeah. do my thing quietly. But um, yeah, he, he, was, he was really lovely. And I'm like, it's, yeah. But you know, I've, I've got my ADHD brain. It's like, someone goes, oh, your daughter's a really good singer. And I hear, that is your shit, your daughter's good. <laughs> She's so bad. It's like, why do I do that to myself? I love, I love like, your voice and your singing. <laughs> Uh, and, 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 and yes, your, your, your daughter is yeah. also a fucking great singer. She's amazing. I love writing for her. I'm trying to get, I, I'm, I'm getting into the angle of writing some more stuff, you know what I mean? Cause, but um, like, okay, the, the, the question has to be, does she know anything about Elite? Like she must through osmosis, right? But like, she yeah, not, I think she, like, like, she's not into Elite. No, she she's played it a bit, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, both my daughters have played it, and she she went to the Burr's um, thing sung there, and yeah. that everyone's really nice, you know? But, um, They've but if I asked, if I asked, if I asked your daughter, if I asked your daughter, like, game. like who is yeah. John Jameson? Could she explain no. to me everything about the original lore and the Margaret mothership and the virus and the dark? No, Bowl? no, no, she wouldn't know. Right? But they both know who Commander Tacosa is. Well, there you go. I, they know, <laughs> I mean, it's really bizarre. So I mean, that would be really yeah. weird. Because <laughs> like, again, they can look up videos of me on YouTube. Not my dad's on YouTube, so that's cool for them. So that's cool. Even though it's like playing a sad dad's game. I, don't care. <laughs> I love it. It's a great game. No, this, it's a game. You know, I just played that game. Pacific Drive fifty hours. I loved it, but I'm never going to play it again. Whereas this game, I've played for six half hours, and I can goof around with you and you and the guys, and just have a, have a really good time, and then write songs about it. And it's cool, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is my theory, right? I is that what Elite, what separates Elite Dangerous from every other game? Yeah. And I think this is like something that tends to happen more in MMOs, right? In the in the massive yeah, multiple. Yeah is the memories that it creates yeah because yeah. it's like it's like i've had so many good nights with friends like i remember back in the day halo land parties like we go into a basement two tvs we're playing a split screen on each we're yelling at each other from across the mm. room you know like those were great memories but yeah. i don't remember any yeah. i don't remember like oh yeah do you remember that one time the jeep flipped over and blew up and <laughs> we all died like i don't remember yeah, yeah. any of the things we did other than just like we were having a good time and like yeah. i remember the very early, one of the first multiplayer online games I ever played was actually Jedi Knight. Um, and I remember yeah, yeah. me and my friend were on voice chat, or sorry, <laughs> voice chat at the time was we each had second phone lines so that our modem, <laughs> we could talk on we the phone play, and yeah, play yeah, video yeah, games. Yeah. And that was oh, that was unique at the time. So people yeah. actually thought we were cheating because we were coordinating so well. Like there was a yeah. force field and I, one guy would be at the button, the other guy would, so basically I'd be like, turn off the force field, shoot a few rockets, kill some people. Oh no, they're shooting yeah. at us! Turn on the force field! He would turn it on, and then people were like, You guys are hacking! You guys are hacking! There's no way people can coordinate like that. <laughs> Just talking on the phone. Like, like yeah, yeah. that's a memory I have, but it's like very rarely do uh, I have memories. And it's like when I think of an elite, it's like there are eras, there are uh, like time periods, events, uh, community events. I remember like the last Burr Pit mass jump. Um, there was like uh, there was like the Orange Phoenix um, mass jump that was at the end of the Warbucks thing. The Salome yeah, thing, yeah. the Enigma expedition, like all these different events and, and, and moments. Um, like even what like this is this predates my YouTube channel, but if you look up Shop Sugar Bus, which by the it's a system in the bubble. It's also a guy's <laughs> YouTube channel. 
And this guy right. was like, I guess, like a Kickstarter backer, so he got a system named after him. Um, he was doing uh, space-based trivia. So he was literally on the way to Sagittarius, meeting up with random explorers, and uh, you would do this trivia thing, and then the lightning round was you had to uh, point yourself at the star, and as you were heading towards the star, answer as many questions as you can before either you chicken out or you hit the star or whatever. And I ended yeah. up winning. I was the grand winner. Oh, like, wow. I won the trivia contest by one point um, in the lightning round. Uh, and then when I eventually got back to the bubble, he met up with me. And at the time, the way that you would... Can, he was like, your prize is 50 units of gold. And he would drop them one by one. And, and I didn't have limpets. So I had to scoop them up one by one. So it was actually like it took like that's, an hour. Just, <laughs> that's, really, man? It took an that's hour. Like, you're right, you just... There's I was boosted right past him. I hope I didn't kill his passenger. I should tell him that to tell, sorry. <laughs> but you won, man. You're a winner. Yeah. Really, you see. And, and the video is on there. Like, you can watch the video. Um, right. The thing that, and this, this, this is what kills me. This is what kills me. Is I'm a Shakespeare guy. I love Shakespeare. Uh, like, I made a movie called <laughs> Macbeth 3000 for crying out loud, right? Um, <laughs> and the one question that I didn't get was a fucking Macbeth question. Really? No yeah. way, man. We're, we're, yeah, we're, come on. It was, cause, well, because keep in mind, keep in mind, context is like, all the questions are random. I don't know what's coming at me. Some of them are in game. Like, how many hard points does a Viper have? And then it's like, and then it's like, who said out damn spot, out damn spot? And, and, and I'm like, like, heading towards the sun. And so I just blurt out Hamlet, right? Mm. And then immediately, like, after it was over, this was, like, the last question. And he's like, wrong. And I'm like, no, it was fucking Macbeth. God damn it. I should have known that. <laughs> so I could have beat the guy by two points. I still won. But uh, that that still, like, again, it's like the um, some things that you just never forget. What I worry about is when I get old and I start talking about stuff in this game, like, it's real to my, like, grandkids. Go, oh, I yeah. I remember when I was around Lave and we went to... Uh, Hit 105.2, and they'll be like, What are you on about? He's like, if, you, if you don't bring me a slice of cake, I'm gonna turn you into the mud crabs on Delta Pavonis. <laughs> and then, if you don't understand what that isn't, you haven't been reading the history books. But that's a stupid thing to go. I do feel like I've been there. I, I often see things in like astronomical programs. I go, Oh, I've been to that star, and it's really stupid. Yeah, in my brain, and I have been, yeah, I like, and I like that. Yeah, it's cool. It's well, that, that, I, I was in I've that, in that conversation where someone was like, Um, <laughs> Uh, talking really about stupid. the new Beetlejuice thing, and I'm like, oh, are you talking about yeah. that very large star? And they're like, no, I'm talking about the new <laughs> Beetlejuice. But do you know about the very large star? They're like, no. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not that big. <laughs> I just feel like a complete <laughs> idiot. Like, My friend is really hard, and the people look at you like, oh, oh it's a game, but it's uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, just two systems over, there's great outfitting. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> You can buy puppies there. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> They're rare goods. Yeah. Uh, from a different dimension. Yeah. It, it, just, it, just it, it wasn't too hot for me, but my Zihi biomorphic companion I, didn't do too well coming back. I have to stop myself saying things like, I don't say yeah. you've been there, because that's really stupid. Don't mean. Or just like, it's yeah. like, like you go to, a, yeah. like, there's actually, okay, there's a sci fi bar in Toronto. Is and there? I kind of want to go, um, yeah, I kind of want to go up to the bartender and be like, uh, make me a Levian Bandy or Leasty and Leasty Evil Juice yeah, tell you, man. and just see if they yeah. go with it. They probably won't though. Cause like, I, I don't expect a bartender who works at a sci-fi bar to actually like get this deep Pretty into deep. like, okay, they might write yeah. uh, a pan galactic gargle blaster. They might know that one. In fact, that pro the, I bet you that's on the menu. Yeah, Le yeah. If I see Levian Brandy or Leasty and Evil Juice on a, on a menu at a sci-fi bar, I'm gonna, yeah, be, yeah. I'm gonna be going well, there a lot. <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah, totally, man. Crips oh, has been following us for 12 jumps, apparently. Ooh. Are you in system? Oops, Ooh, what have I done? Yeah. I've activated the bio break. Where is he? Where is he? What else did I activate or deactivate with my accidental hotkeys? <laughs> they should be. They should have used to cause some music in the bars. 100%. It's all good. Oh, my yeah. fault that all the delusions are my. Uh, that my time in Elite was real. I mean, let me put it this way if I'm on my deathbed yeah. and I'm thinking back and I'm remembering shit from Elite. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, man. It's yeah. a shared experience. That's the cool thing. It's real enough to me. I mean, if you think about it, the only thing that, that, that is different from real life is that we're not actually in space, but, you know, you give me a spaceship and all of this is going to happen exactly like, well, except for the rebuy yeah. thing, because actual yeah, yeah. death or whatever. Well, uh, DG space tourist. Less booping. 
because you know, it's a bit dangerous in real life. Uh, I well, let me put it this mm. way: I would be looking for a ship that is highly armored just to make sure that yeah. I can boop with the the new jump drive in it with the boost in real life. But, uh, Absolutely. Well, that that has been the highlight for me today. That that has been a lot of it's fun. fun. It's fun. It's like it's good to have. You know, it feels quite a change for Elite to have a fun thing that is cool, but just uh -huh. is a bit crazy. You can't keep up with my new nitro boost. You gotta get you. <laughs> you gotta get you one of these. They're pretty darn fun. Um, what are you saying, Ted? Sorry, you say that the oh oh, I accidentally boosted. I'm not sure I'll be heading headlong into Thargoid space in real life. I mean, uh, reconnaissance in a very cold, uh, small ship. Um, <laughs> but you know, yeah, I, I would, I would be kind of, you know, pooping myself. I stuck one of my um, Python, and it was, it was much easier to fly, and it didn't seem to do too much heat to it. I don't know, I don't know if I had a cold engine or something, but I was surprised because I saw the people, it was flailing around, but in my Python, it was pretty easy. So maybe the weight of the ship, yeah. Maybe the way yeah, they the, kind of... They've made the Python work really well with it for some reason. Well, I'm going to have to see how Mars did in the Type 9. I'm very interested in that. Because, yeah, I think the yeah, idea of a big ship going super fast is always delightful to me. Yeah, we cool. But, <laughs> uh, with that said, I do got to eat my tonkatsu. Eat, man. Uh, my uh, little chicken katsu here. Um, and get ready to, to go out later tonight. Otherwise, I'd, party. I'd literally do this all day. Um, <laughs> but um, so uh, for those of you who care stay tuned I will let everyone know when the new um, thingy is coming out um, I'll probably put the trailer on my channel so keep an eye out on the bell or the homepage or wherever <laughs> however you digest your content uh, yeah. and there'll be a trailer for the adventure and then the adventure will go live on Elite Dangerous whenever it does um, I highly recommend it obviously uh it's awesome uh i think i i don't, I don't like to do my own harm but i'm like very proud of this i think it's gonna be gonna be well cool. received i hope um yeah good fun. if not y'all can suck it i'm giving you the middle <laughs> finger <laughs> flipping double birds right now ah fuck you <clears throat> no but seriously i think it's awesome i think people will enjoy it um and i i don't think there was okay i i do think there was a little bit of inspiration for the second one is that it could have something to do with like an alien species that maybe once went extinct and maybe like i love the idea yeah. of it involving the thargoids as well like i kind of yeah. want that I, I think this this first one is very much like history and lore and and the bubble and, and a mystery investigation i think that the second mm. one i want to write might be about about um thargoids and aliens because the other things again yeah, because you, because we could ask someone to go and scan a certain plant, and plant, bring it, bring me this plant, because a character Ooh. might really want a certain thing. So oh, yeah. we always know those mushrooms will always be on that planet. So you can make like, that like the end condition, like they must have delivered a sample of sold this to yeah, yeah. a, a Vista yeah. genomic. I don't know. I, yeah. I'll have to ask the the creator if it can be that specific. Like I don't know if it's like like in the journal it might just say sold sample to for this amount of money. Yeah, right. yeah, I don't know what um, the log does, you know what I mean? But it'd be cool yeah. if, it, if it does, because that'd be like, you know, once you've got that, then then the guy goes, ah, you brought me my fa my favorite mushroom, you know, gives me an amazing buzz, boy, you know, and then <laughs> I'll, I'll unlock this for you or something, you know what I mean? Be I cool. see their dead star. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, why am I so bright? <laughs> I look up, there's a crazy right, yeah, little yeah, dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, I got it. I got it. I got to take off. But thank you guys for have being good here. Have a good one. Have a good night, dude. And thanks for the stream. Thank you, fun, man. Thank you very much. And goodbye, everyone. No seven. I'll see you.